Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi there. Good morning. We are playing some more. Supermarket Simulator. Bill says hi. Hi, say hi, Bill. Nice try. Okay, he he thought hi in his brain. <laughs> All right, let's let's restock some shelves. Get some crab. Let's get some chicken. Chicken. Um. Looks like we're okay at fries. We're good on most stuff. Looks like it. Nothing's like empty. Everything's just like lightly, lightly used. So I think we're good to open today. So let's get those um ordered and put away. Oh. Wow, I'm impressed. It's not falling. Huh. I think it's happened before. What if I take this one? Okay, yep, there it goes. It finally fell. Can only stay up for so long before she fell. Alright, put that there. The crab legs. And more crab legs. Put those on the shelf back here. And we're going to go ahead and stack the shelf over here as well. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Everyone's ha well, actually, good afternoon. I'm very late today. I'm sleepy. You can only stay up for so long, too. I know. It's always... I, the days that I need to get up early, I can't fall asleep. And the days I need to, I need to go to... That I, like... I could stay up late, I get really tired early. And I want to fall asleep. It's... My body's weird like that. It can't make up its mind. Bump, 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 bump. You got the free version of this game? Oh, do you mean the uh, demo on Steam? Yeah, the demo's, uh, I think, like a few hours long. Right, let's see. Uh, hello. The full game is, like, even longer, and it's got more stuff to unlock. It's a really fun little game. This, I like this game. All right, let's see. We're still fine. Oh, we need uh, whatever that scalp stuff is there. Scallops. All right, scallops. Yeah, that demo is nice. It gives you like a few hours to like experience what the gameplay loop is like, and then you get hooked on it. Very smart, the developer. Uh, let's see. Put that there. As I said, this is the game you just start playing it and, like, the hours melt away. And you don't know what happened. You're like, what? What happened? Why? Have, where did the last four hours go? Yeah, you just sit there and it's like three hours pass by like it's nothing. $14, please. Taylor, shopping for your boyfriend. Thirty-seven seventy-five. Tom, good luck at the game tonight. Actually, I think it's off-season now. Hello. Hi. Oh, waiting for me? Okay, thank you. Some pizzas on your card. You have a lovely day now. Uh, thank you, ma'am. It'll be thirty-eight seventy-five. Goodbye now. Flour and mayonnaise. That is a combination. Thank you. Nope, no mods installed because um, I usually don't mod games until they're done because every time they release an update, it'll break all the mods. <laughs> And sometimes mods can cause extra bugs, which I don't know if this game is stable enough to have it. Yeah, you can type on the keep, keep the credit card pad. You can now type um, the money amount in, which saves a lot of time. One chicken. Okay. With a hundred? Ah. Oh. You you're paying for a $10 thing with a hundred uh, sir you're killing me here okay oh, oh. I'm 
Okay, now 75 cents. I had a bad morning, so I'll watch you play. My boyfriend went back to his ex. Oh, God. I'm sorry. That's a terrible Monday problem to have. I am the Raven Queen. Thank you for that uh, Prime Gaming sub. I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. Ooh, a brand new sub. I am the Raven Queen. Oh, I am the Raven Queen. Little did you know that today was Punday Monday. Where anytime someone does a paid subscription on YouTube, TikTok, or Twitch, we will read a terrible pun in your honor. A friend of mine tried to annoy me with bird puns, but I soon realized that two can play at that game. Uh, thank you for that, Risa. Uh, cheap shot fifty one. I tried to be a sh a chef. I I tried to be a chef. Figured it would add a little spice to my life, but it just didn't have the time. Fifty-seven dollars, ma'am. You have a great day now. Oh lordy. Yeah, it was spelled time like the spice. Two forty-nine fifty-five. We love big spenders. Thank you, ma'am. Sir, that'll be oh exact change. We like exact change. Lots of cakes, flour, three containers of three containers of bleach, madam. Cow. Emperor Julius Caesar and Kevbot 24, thank you for those resubs on Punday Monday. They would have got a busted kneecap if. Oh man. I'm... Sea captains don't like crew cuts. He broke into song when he couldn't find the key. What? Okay, those are a couple weak ones. Vinebog, thank you for that resub on Punday Monday. Um, that says, for the puns. A termite walks into a bar and says, where is the bartender here? Thank you, ma'am. Have a great day. Ooh. Nothing like a little pun to start our day. Oh, my God. Robert with the donuts. Thank you so much for being so kind. Thank you for the donut gift. It's amazing of you. Thank you. Spring is here. I got so excited I wet my plants. Aw. Oh, it's rushing hook. Aw, oh. oh, man. <laughs> the bills are taking forever to ring out our customers. Uh, Najd88, thank you for that five-month resub. <laughs> I actually went to bed... I accidentally went to bed with my contact lenses in the other night. My dreams have never been clearer. <sighs> Words of crap with the 110-month resub. Next page. I had to quit my job at the shoe recycling factory. It was just too soul destroying. Mm. Is this game on PS5? No, it's only on console currently, but it'll probably be on PC um, after he gets done making the full game. Ma'am, you bought three packages of toilet paper. Yeah, the game isn't uh, complete yet. Ouch, I'm sorry, Malamute. I'm sorry for punishing you with buns. People are like, I'm just here to watch my store game. Why must you punish me so? Um. Ooh, ice cream. We need some more ice cream. All right, ice cream. Add a little bit of ice cream out of there. Uh, we could use some. Actually, we'll let them fully restock everything. I'll get three restockers is probably fine at this point in the game. Thank you, sir. I found you on Twitch. I just randomly saw you on my For You page on TikTok. Well, welcome. <laughs> 
TikTok's usually good at making a, letting you find people you're in, interested in um, for uh, watching on their live streams and stuff. They're usually good at, at finding people that you know in real life too, especially if you enter like your connect your contacts and stuff. Be like, sometimes I've been scrolling through and I'm like, oh, there's my high school friend, <laughs> just making videos. Just got this game. I love it. Me too. Oh, Logan, thank you for the heart on the TikTok stream. So kind of you. Thank you. All right. Um. Okay, one more checkout, Bill. Come on. You got this. Come on. Restock. Come on. You got this, Bill. Let's go. Come on. Once you finish this, we can go home for the day, Bill. Scan faster, buddy. He, Bill, Bill, I love him. I love you, Bill. You're the, you're a great worker, but you are really slow. Uh, you're like my grandma trying to understand how to use her phone. Oh, her sending a tip. My grandma trying to send a text. What do I press to to, to send the little face things again? <laughs> All right, uh, next day. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shenny. Oh my god, Ash, Amber, and Katie, thank you for those follows on the TikTok stream. Are you going to play Stardew Valley tomorrow? Uh, I'll see what the patch notes are and check, probably check it out. Um, I'm very curious. Is he releasing the patch notes today or tomorrow? Does anyone know? Because Stardew Valley is coming out, the update tomorrow, but is the patch notes today or tomorrow? Like the full ones. I saw you can drink mayonnaise in the new update, which I'm just like. Why Why is that a thing? Who does that in real life? <laughs> uh, hmm. I didn't know that people would want to do that. Looks like our restockers are working hard at restocking. We'll just get another one. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, the dev says you start a new game for 1.6. Um, not because you can't continue your new save, just that there's so many new little things that you might miss out of them if you are unaware of them. Or you might get bombarded with mechanics and pop-ups right away. I'm going to let these guys take a second to restock the shelves. Wait a minute. Why is that empty? Didn't I get some new... Oh my god, that's not the right stuff, is it? That's the wrong... Have I not been stocking that one at all? Oops. I'm missing one. What is it? It's something that goes in the fridge. What's it called? It's not that... Oh, ham and cheese sandwiches. People have been without ham and cheese because I've been ordering the scallops instead. What kind of a store manager am I? Oh, I'm going to get hit hit that... Um, hit that... Uh, I'm going to take a hit on my Yelp reviews. Got my brain slow this morning. So they tweeted about the new farm type. Ooh. Let me check uh, Concerned Ape's tweet about the uh, new farm types. That sounds amazing. Concerned Ape added a new type of farm, Meadowlands. It has chewy blue grass that animals love. You also start with a coop and two chickens. <gasps> what? You can start with chickens right off the bat in the new farm. More of a ranch focus. That sounds amazing. Oh, I'm excited for that. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and uh, open for the day. Yeah, I like when he puts a new farm type in the game. It can really shake up the meta a little bit. The meta, like the farm game has a meta. Listen to me act like it's a beat battle rail. Okay, grab all that. Okay, more sandwiches. 
Even more sandwiches. Okay, I got way too many of these sandwiches. Uh, and ice cream. Ice cream. Ah! <laughs> oh. I just... Put, there it is. Ice cream. Perfect. Give me the bluegrass and blue chickens. Bluegrass sounds amazing. I can't wait to try all the new stuff. Fractional Dimensions, thank you for the 73-month resets. It said resub. It says on on Monday we. Oh no, Fractional Dimensions. T Victor, thank you for that sub as well. Appreciate that. Um, and Draken, thank you for subbing on Punda Monday, guys. Every sub is a, gets a pun. Two silkworms had a race. They ended up with a tie. <laughs> My friend made a joke about a TV controller. It wasn't remotely funny. I went to a buffet dinner with my neighbor who's a taxidermist. After such a big meal, I was stuffed. Thank you, WafflesOMD, for that 30-month resub. A golf ball is a golf ball no matter how you put it. Oh, that's... That one's bad. Ugh. I want a refund on that one. Damn. 44.75. <laughs> is this worth it? It is a super fun little simulator game. If you ever like games where you run little shops, this is a great one. It's like running your little, a little grocery store. Just very fun. Oh, my God. Caitlin, Doug, and Alexis, thank you for following. It's so nice of you. Thank you, guys. Following helps so much on the TikTok stream. pushes us on that For You page. So thank you so much for supporting the live stream. Mm, what are we out of? Let's see. Sliced bread. I need some bread. Uh, white bleach as well. Uh, chicken. Looks like we're running low on chicken. All right. So sliced bread. Let's just go. One, two. Oh bread sandwich bread and then we want meat looks like we're out of a lot of the meat over there so some chicken legs chicken legs the veal ground beef all running low and all that so chicken legs Uh, let's see the veal and ground beef. Veal, um, veal, veal, veal. There is one, two. All right, veal. Boom. I dropped my. I accidentally dropped my pillow on the floor. I think it was a concussion. Cushion. Concussion. Oh my god. Didn't realize I wasn't follow, following you here. I follow on Twitch. Well, welcome, Doug. Thank you for following me on both platforms. All right, let me uh, put the sliced bread on the shelf over here. Get that going. Nope, up there. Sliced bread and regular bread. This is like sliced. And then should have a lot of the sandwich bread. Put that here. Ground beef. We can put this unrefrigerated on the shelf back here because it'll keep it nice and warm. Just the way you want to store meat. Are you going play the new uh, Stardew Valley update? Yes, tomorrow we'll be playing Stardew Valley. I'll be on on my normal time. We'll uh, hopefully see a lot of updates and stuff. And hopefully he'll release those patch notes today. And then we can get the full look of everything that's being added. I'm expecting some nice, good changes. He's already been tweeting lots and lots of stuff. He's been adding some things that are mods for the game into the base game, which is great. So we won't have to install mods anymore for some things like... For example, um, jelly and uh, cider and beer and stuff will all change color now depending on what you put into it. So instead of jelly always being like a pink color or a purple color, it will be, if you put apples, green apples in it, it'll be green. If you put purple grapes in it, it'll be purple. If you put oranges in it, it'll be orange. But little stuff like that, which is just, like, super immersive. 
Stardew Valley getting update? Yes, a big update, and it's coming out tomorrow. Uh, and it's free. No, you don't have to pay for it. So you already have Stardew Valley. You just get it for free. I wish the, the order would come on a pallet. I know. I believe the dev is aware that we are we we want to pick up many packages at once. So I'm sure the next update will probably be some sort of ability to grab many boxes at one time. Okay, speed run. Hi, hello. Sorry for making you wait um seven hours to check out, but I'm here now, <laughs> and that's what matters. Forty-two twenty-five. Been watching on TikTok and came here so I can picture in picture. Awesome, I am the Red Rabbit. Thank you for watching in both places. Where, do you, where did you find the new farm type? He just tweeted uh, today that there's going to be a new farm type where you it's focused on ranching. And you even start with chickens and a coop, which is like, whoa. That'll, that saves so much money by not having to get all the money to build your first coop. Um, 85.75. Do people steal in this game? Um, no, but my prices are so low, it should be illegal. At Dan's Groceries, come get the savings. There's no, um, update yet for, um, thievery, but it will be coming in the future. Uh, the console version of the update will take a little bit longer. The PC version is coming out tomorrow. Because um, Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft, you all have to get your patches approved before you can post them. So it takes about two weeks because they're slow. Hello there. Thank you, madam, for shopping at our grocery store. $104 for is your total. Thank you. All right, sir. It'll be forty seventy-five on your card. You have a lovely day now. Uh, how many people are standing outside not working? None. They're all restocking. Hmm. I like that. They're keeping us fully stocked. Ooh, big spender, madam. Have a great day. All right. Um, we're just now waiting on the bills to finish checking people out. Oh, they're so slow. Okay, let's let them fully restock everything before we start ordering a bunch of stuff. Because we might have stuff in the back. See, there you go. Restock it all, please. He programmed those. So nice. Nope, no theory yet. That will be coming in a future update. Ooh, Stardew Valley. Who's starting a new run? Oh, I will. Oh, man. You know how I am with Stardew Valley. I played the hell out of the, the original release back when it came out in... What was it? 2016, I think? It was a long time ago, and it was... Really fun. What about Mac? I don't know about Mac. Uh, if Mac is on Steam, it should be an instant release, I would assume. If Mac has Steam. I think Mac has Steam. So it should be fine. Uh, thank you, Clarity at 3 a.m. And Erisidor and Poison5 for those resubs on Punday Monday, you fools! <laughs> I used to have a fear of hurdles, but I got over it. I thought I saw an eye doctor on an Alaskan island, but it turned out to be an optical illusion. Don't get that one. When it came to getting even with my local bus company, I pulled out all the stops. <laughs> uh, funny. Optical illusion. Okay, I get it. I get it now. <laughs> All right, next day. So now we need to see what we need to restock. Let's go grab our old computer organizing thingy. You love Stardew? Me too. Stardew is just... Stardew is one of those comfy games I can always go back to and just somehow... It's just a nice, comfy feeling. Just a great little game. It's actually kind of a big game now that I think about it. Stardew has been like growing like crazy. Alright, let's see. Brackus, thank you for that 33 month resub. Appreciate that. Alright, how about 
So I need cereal, all three cereals, and pink sugar. All three cereals and pink sugar. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, pink sugar. Not sugar. <laughs> Not pink sugar. One, two. Yeah, the Tropical Island um, update added a lot of stuff. I don't know how much this 1.6 is going to be adding. Because we just don't have the patch notes yet. Okay, so oil. One, two, three. Oh. Three. One, two, three. Flour. We're fine. Okay, we need both toilet papers. Let's get a bunch of that. Toilet. One, two, three. One, two, three. Both toilet papers. Um, looks like cleaner. So we need both the cleaners. So let's go with cleaning. One, two. Um, where is it? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And I think let me check over here. Anything over here? Any a little bit of? No, it looks like the black cleaner as well. Grab that one. All right, that's looking good. I have my store organized in the same order as the order website, so I just stock with missing on the store shelves. There goes store except the open sign and turn on the light. Wow, that sounds amazing. I just throw everything in there randomly because I don't have to use it. <laughs> Uh, the the AI just know do everything for me. I just throw things on empty shelves and they find where it is and put it away. <laughs> is there a cheat for more money? Um, not really, but it's really hard to lose money as long as you just keep the shelves full and just keep opening. Uh, don't a uh, good rule of thumb is don't ex buy an expansion until every every slot in your store is full of products to make up the money difference, because those, if you buy an upgrade with all your money and then you don't have anything to sell, you'll kind of get in this weird, like, debt hole for a little while. So be kind of careful about that. You can take out loans for an instant income, but that will, like, uh, you do have to pay them back, and it is pretty costly. Uh, Zoe, thank you for, uh, for following. I, I don't know why, but I got nauseous playing it first. I want to play so bad. Yes. They need to add a field of view setting so people that have motion sickness won't have that happen to them anymore. All right, guys. Let's get the shelves all full of products. We got people to, we got people to come shop at our store today. So we got to make sure the shelves are full. Get everything on the shelf. That way we can get the stores open today. Yep, I uh, have to take these out one box at a time. Why? Because, because, because. <laughs> all right. Uh, put that there. Grab this. Throw this over here. Beautiful. Uh, you can open the... There's probably guides if you really want to cheat. It's pr There's probably guides on how to give yourself more money and stuff by cheating. But I would be careful about editing your saves and stuff. You never know what kind of effect that could have long term. So just be careful about that. Make a backup of your save. You don't want to like, lose everything. I've been buying a few days. Such growth. Thank you. Good to see you again, Runoff. Welcome back. Be cool if they made it co-op. Co-op is a um, feature that people have been requesting a lot uh, for this game. A lot of simulator games, um, people want to play co-op and stuff. Could be fun if they could get a, a way to do it properly. Uh, we'll see, though. Like, instead of hiring employees, you're... You just you become the manager and you make all of your friends do all the hard work for you by stocking shelves and ringing registers, and you can pay them. Oh my God! What if um, what if you could hire your friends and then they could rent an apartment in the city, and then they can use the money they earn from your store to buy furniture for their fake apartment, and then pay their rent and stuff, and you set their hours and their salaries. Okay, that, that that's getting too meta. I'd have to pay my friends. <laughs> yeah, pay my friends like, no, we're having fun. You ever trick your friends into playing a game so that they can help you farm stuff? <laughs> Under the guise that you're having fun together. 
Oh my god, like, how? You know what would be so fun? What if you spend four hours mining this rare resource? I need to craft a, ar an armor set. Oh my, wouldn't that be fun? Oh my god, it's great. Did that with their kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, look, look how fun this is, children. You just run around this this pretty zone with the dinosaurs and get all the thorium ore for me. <gasps> isn't that fun? Thorium, isn't that a fun word? Just go farm for daddy while he goes take a shower and stuff, and then I'll be back in a couple hours, see how much you did. Whoever got the most thorium for daddy gets to have ice cream. <laughs> like, oh, yay. You'll farm my supervise. It's the perfect plan. Uh, oil. Um, oh, there, right there. You've done this before? No. I would never do something so heinous. <laughs> da, 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 da. My spirit friends are listening up doing all the hard work anyways. Oh, I know. Remember remember in school, group projects? And you get grouped with the people that don't want to do anything, and then your grade is tied to them. Not If they don't work, you suffer, so you have to do everything yourself, and then they get all the credit for it. Oh. What a real-life lesson, though, is that in real life, sometimes you do all the work and get no credit. Or you do all the work and other people get to claim credit for your hard work. Like middle managers and stuff, you know. They, I, I didn't realize at the time that that was a big life lesson. That sometimes life is unfair and you won't get credit for the hard work you put into things. And it's like, oh, this is actually a smarter lesson than I thought it was. Alright, let's see. Uh, we need some cheese. Not cleaning cheese. I don't know what what the hell cleaning cheese is. One, two, three. What? Trying to order a little bit of all the cheese. All right, beautiful. All right, now we put the cheese on. Oh, not that that shelf back here. Boop. Okay, more cheese. Even more cheese. Uh, when are you playing first Dragon's Dama Rise of the Ronin? Um, I'll be playing both as soon as I can. I can't... I'm not allowed to say when I can play them, but... When I can play them, I will. The official release date is, um... For... is, like, Friday, I think, of this week. But sometimes streamers get codes early for things and can stream them early, but can't talk about it until they can. So just keep that in mind that, you know, if someone were to get a code early, they could maybe stream it early, but they just couldn't tell you about it. You know, you know, just in, just in general. But yeah, we might like play something early if I were to get a copy of it, you know, without, you know, saying what it was. You know, you know, just, you know, whatever. <laughs> wink, wink, winky face, hint, hint. Oh my god, thank you for that follow, Tony and X Tina on, uh, Tiana, sorry, X Tiana on uh, TikTok for those follows. Thank you guys. Yeah, it's important to follow on TikTok because. It's so easy to lose a channel forever if you scroll away. <laughs> the number of times I've actually lost someone I was enjoying watching because I accidentally scrolled up or down. It's like, oh no. It's gone. I'm doing great, JD. How are you doing? I'm not sure what you're talking about, Dan. Slash sarcasm. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, Someone made a post on my... um. On a YouTube video today, I'm Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. <laughs> that said, oh my God, they're turning Final Fantasy into save the world propaganda. I'm like, 
Did you not play the original game 27 years ago? That's the story of the original. Like, what? Are you insane? <laughs> that is the story of the original game. <laughs> it's like, what? 30 years ago. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Some people are not the smartest. We'll just put it that way. Or they're just trying to get a rise on me and it worked. But, you know. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. I wish I could set sales and stuff. That would be fun. Get Have, like, a sale on my toilet paper and have lots of extra toilet paper. How do you check if prices went up? On the top right of this, on the right of the screen, there's like a little pop up when you start the next day that will show you. And also, you can go to the computer and look at all the items and then see which numbers have gone up and down over here. Do you see on the marketplace? Um, let me find one. See this price right here? This little green arrow that shows it went up. Um. It's kind of annoying. So he's he's working on a, a way to like do it better. But for right now, you just kind of have to respond to those pop-ups. I need to go through and do another round of price checking. So I think we'll hire another cashier for a little bit. Let me hire a cashier for a couple hours. All right, let's go through and do the prices. Here we go. 525. Good. 275. Good. 375. Um, let's make that 350. Uh, 525. Nope. Let's make that even 5. Boom. Okay. 525 is fine. $5 is fine. $5. That's the same product. Oh, God. Uh, 575. Lower the price of that. 625 is fine. Five twenty five dollars. Uh fourteen seventy five. Seven dollars. Six twenty five. Oh, uh two seventy five. Thank you. Nine dollars even. Boom. Nope. Uh eight seventy five. Boom. Okay, let's go down the shelf. Uh oh god, I'm losing money on this one. Sixteen fifty. Damn. <laughs> Could have raised that a whole lot. Okay, seventeen fifty is fine for that. Now, eight dollars. Oh my God. Uh, so six twenty-five for that one. Five dollars even is fine. Seven dollars. Oh my God! A heart from Runoff. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Can you go to the store and show us around? Uh, we're doing that right now with our price changing. You can see all the shops. I'm gonna go to every shelf. Just a minute here. Uh, two twenty-five, seven dollars. All right. Um. Now let's do the oil shelf here. Oh, let's make that five dollars even. Then six twenty-five, nine dollars and fifty cents. Uh, let's see, nine fifty. Three twenty is fine. Five fifty is fine. Let's check this aisle now. Coffee is twelve dollars. Nope, we gotta lower that to eleven seventy-five. Uh oh, let's make that even let's make that twelve seventy-five. Get that coffee sold. Uh ten dollars even on that. Let's oh god, four fifty on that. Lower that price a bit. Eight dollars oh god, yeah. Six uh twenty-five for that. Five twenty-five is fine. 325 is fine. Oh, what? Wow, lower that to 575. Discount. Having a little sale going on. 550. Let's do potatoes. Are That's fine. 375. Oh, we can raise that to 675. Um, For a bag of chips. Damn, that is expensive. Let me turn on this over here real fast. All right. Uh, let's see. Four twenty-five. Perfect. Three fifty. Good. Oh, we can raise that to seven twenty-five. Perfect. Eight twenty-five. Beautiful. Ten twenty-five is good. Oh, four. 
fifty on that, please. The Malk is nine twenty-five. Perfect. We have uh, six nineteen. So we raise a six twenty-five. Thirteen bucks even. It's fine. Uh, five eighty. Let's go one ninety on that. Twenty uh twenty seven seventy five. We'll have that on a little bit on sale. Eleven thirty four. Perfect. Four twenty five is fine. Three dollars is fine. Three fifty is fine. Oh. Four fifty. Two twenty five. Three twenty five. Or twenty-five, five dollars. Oh, we can raise that to five seventy-five. Oh, not fifty-three. Five seventy-five. Perfect. Uh, three dollars. Just started this game last night, and I'm obsessed. Yes, another person has fallen victim to the fun that is this game. This game is just very fun. Ooh, four dollars and twenty-five cents on the milk. Twenty-six fifteen is fine. Twenty. Oh, let's change that to twenty seventy-five. Let's change this to. Oh, that's fine. Sixteen even. Good. Nine twenty-five. Oh, let's lower that to three. Se oh, let's raise that to seven seventy-five. Perfect. Uh, oh, let's lower that down to five um, fifty. Four twenty-five is perfect. Three twenty-five. Uh, seven, seven, two, seventy-five, fourteen dollars even is good. Let's lower that to three fifty. Uh, let's lower this to eight fifty, cause I'm a nice guy. Twelve twenty-five, fifteen. So let's raise that to even sixteen dollars. Eight seventy-five is fine. Uh, let's raise that to five dollars. Lower that to five dollars. This down here will um. Let's make that 850 actually. Cuz I'm a nice guy. People need a break. I'll I'll just have two yachts this year, not three. cuz I'm an I'm a kind, gentle soul like that. Let's do 525. Oh, 525. I was driving home to the airport to catch my flight when I saw a sign that said airport left, so I turned around and went home. How do you manage your time? I find myself constantly Ordering stock to keep up. Uh, that's always going to happen. You're, you're always going to have to order more more stuff. When you get the restockers in the back, they help a lot um, to cut down on the amount of tedium you have to do. But ordering new products is just a big part of the game. It's always going to be part of the game. Uh, I just, like, in the mornings, you have infinite time. So just do all your ordering and, and stocking in the morning. And just just leave the time, let the time hang there. You can just like take a deep breath and relax, and just get your restocking done, and then go through the day and check people out. It works beautifully. Let's make that three dollars. Let's raise this to three dollars. Three dollars. Two seventy-five. Uh, three fifty. Two seventy-five. Three dollars. 50. Oh, 325. Not selling cheap water on here. 250. Perfect. All the prices have been adjusted. Beautiful. So glad you're streaming this game. I had surgery in my hand, haven't been able to play. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. I get well guessing it's your dominant hand. Yeah, it's hard to play this with only with only one hand working. Are right, you out of green pop? Yes, yeah, so we're going to order some more pop um, in a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and go in the next day. Boop. Made pretty good profit there. Bleach, steak, apple juice. Bleach, steak, apple juice. So steak... Rose to 1525. Bleach. The other bleach, I think. Five five twenties. And then apple juice. Oh, fries. 
475. Thank you. Forgot that. Uh, apple juice rose up to 325. Something else lowered. I forgot what it was. Let me go over here and find out what it was. Something lowered. Um, cheese. Looks like the cheddar cheese lowered to 425. Damn, that's a drastic decrease there. All right, let's go ahead and um, grab our container. We're going to order some more products to restock the shelves and get that money. Hi, Bill number three. Bill number three, um, you, sir, are fired. Sorry. We're family, and it hurts us more than you. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, you need to sign this paper to say you're not going to sue us. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Chat, we just had to restructure our forward-looking growth strategy to try to maximize profit to worker ratio. Um, y you know, I had, to, I had to do that. Making everything divisible by 25 makes uh, change really easy if you want. Um, oh, I didn't even do that. I'm going to restart the game to get to fix that one bug with the wrong item being the wrong shelf. Dan's becoming Amazon. No! <laughs> we are currently level uh, 50. If you want to um, see our stats, you can switch to horizontal mode on TikTok by hitting the little square icon, and it'll flip it horizontal, and you can see my stats in the top right. If you want to see my current money and stuff, it gets cut off in the vertical view. All right. Um, let's do a little bit more reorder. We need blue coffee. Let's do some coffee. One, two, three, four, blue coffee. And more toilet paper. We could never have enough toilet paper because people will come and panic buy the toilet paper and cause a shortage. Why? Because, you know, people do that. Chocolate and candy and cake. One, two, three, four, some candy. Three, four. Yeah, it looks like I need some cake. Let's see. One, two. One, two, three. And so pasta. All right. One, two. One, two. One. Two. Boom, 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 boom. Um, okay, looks like we need some. A little bit. We need regular sugar and a little bit of the other sugars except pink. So we'll do sugar. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, one two. One. Let's get a little pink as a backup. One, two. And we're going to need, let's see, we're okay over here. Some chips and honey. Some chips and honey. Chips. One, two. Some honey. One, two, three. Yep, got the blue coffee ordered. So it's uh, sitting nice and neat in that pile on the por on the front porch. It's there, just waiting on the, to pick it up. Okay, I need some kegs, and we need some eggs. Some kegs and eggs. Remember, um, there was a there was a uh, brunch bar thing that was kegs and eggs, where they had like you could get like a a little breakfast buffet and drink alcohol. It was called kegs and eggs. <laughs> it's really stupid. You ever look back at your younger self and just be like, "Why did you do that?" It's just alcohol, but you went absolutely crazy over it. Like, you couldn't have fun without it. Sushi. One, two. All right. Um, a little apple juice. Could use some salmon and chicken. Apple juice, salmon, chicken. Apple juice. Salmon. 
And chicken. We can never have enough chicken. Hopefully next update. Yeah, I hope we get in the next update some sort of ability to carry more boxes at one time. It's one one little thing in the game that I think they could definitely make an improvement on for sure. Bleach? Oh, yeah. Thank you for the reminder on the bleach. We are out of the green bleach and a little of the white bleach, too. Bleach. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two. Ketchup. Tea. Ketchup and tea. Oh man, I'm just running out of running out of space out there for boxes to go into. <laughs> oh my chat, there's so many boxes there. That's gonna be a struggle. Chris Arsberger, thank you for that hello. Good to see you in chat. Why did the tomato turn red in the grocery store? Because it saw the salad dressing. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Dan's been sifting, sending an encrypted message. Oh, because of what I'm ordering. I see. <laughs> okay, I think that's a good start. Um, that should get most of the things. But we didn't get the soda, did we? Or it didn't get stocked. Or people just bought the hell out of it. Um, orange green soda, juice, or out of, we can use some, some yogurt as well. Yogurt. All right, I think that's enough ordering for the day. It's going to take us an hour to get all these boxes on the shelf. <laughs> ah! Hopefully they make it so the restockers will get the boxes from the sidewalk in the next update. Apparently, that is a planned feature. It's just not activated yet. He's probably having trouble getting that part to work, but apparently he does want the restockers to grab stuff from the the, the shelf, the the sidewalk. So apparently that's why they stand outside because they're supposed to grab the boxes and then bring them in. They just don't do it currently because he didn't implement it yet. Some kegs, some bleach. Oh God, Orion's typing Dan crazy. I'm a simple man. I see Dan crazy. I type Dan crazy into the chat. Wait. Oh, I'm not. Oop. Refresh. Oop. Am I not logged in the Twitch? Oops. Nope, I am not. Okay, let me refresh. Boop. There we go. Got it. <laughs> I have uh, two channels now, so I gotta log out of Twitch every time I go to. Um, I I uh, every time I switch accounts. All right. Yeah, I agree with that. I hope they do add some more, like just in general, some more micromanagement of employees, because right now they're kind of set it and forget it, which is fine. But it would be nice if they had, like, a little more, you know, management to them. A fine line, though. It could be, uh... It could be, um... A little tedious if we do it in some ways. Uh, follow age. If you want to see how long you've been following, just type a message in chat and then click on your name in chat. And it'll tell you. There's no command or anything for it. You just have to click on your own name in chat. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and put the chicken on the shelf here. And grab the bleach and put that on the shelf as well. Oh, looks like some chocolate. Let's put the chocolate over here. And some more cake and candy. Cake and candy. I need those. And some more pasta. I forgot to order pasta. Some more soda. Are they stocking it? Okay, they are. I was concerned they weren't stocking it, but they are. All right, sugar. Boop. And candy. And more sugar. Need to order potatoes. Thank you for the reminder, Zoe. 
I was wish you could update price of a computer. Yes. That is a planned update. They will be adding an ability to update prices from the PC um, on an app. So that way you don't have to, like run to the shelf every time. Which will save a lot of, a lot of un unnecessary running back and forth. I'm all about removing um, removing tedium from the game. What's the loneliest cheese? Prove alone. Chat. Um, it is you. <laughs> Meninja has no moderation privileges today. He, they've been revoked, so you can don't listen to anything he says. After that horrible pun, you can ignore all his requests. I <laughs> know. <laughs> that was a horrible pun. Okay, let's uh, grab up some apple juice. Let's go put the apple juice on the shelf. Store that bleach on top of the food. What could possibly go wrong with that? I'll tell you what, nothing. Nothing could go wrong. <laughs> Storing unrefrigerated chicken on the shelf at room temperature. <laughs> I wonder if you'll ever add Fro like freezer, like a freezer storage in the back or something. It does feel a little weird keeping all this like refrigerated and frozen stuff not in a freezer. <laughs> Hopefully, we get something like that later, just to like add a little more immersion. Okay, put that there. Some Elmo spaghetti. Elmo spaghetti. Yeah, I love how the cars just drive right over my packages. They don't they don't care. They're like, I'm just gonna drive right over these boxes. Go around? <laughs> no, can't possibly do that. Let me just drive right through them. We got some WC boof. Put that over there. Dan, what if they're refrigerated boxes? <gasps> I didn't even think of that. What if the boxes themselves are refrigerated? Maybe that's why they're so heavy. Chat with the good questions. I wish doctors would get the product off the road. Yeah, Roof, uh, they have been... Apparently, they're going to be doing that. They're just not implemented in the game yet. So, I my guess is that he is going to implement... This is my, my guess. He's going to implement... Something like a dolly for you, the player, to use and the computer to use. And then the dolly will allow you and the NPCs to carry multiple boxes at once to the stock room. And they will, once he fi finishes making that and lets the NPCs use it too, then they will be able to pick things off the road. That is my current guess. It'll probably sit right here and you grab it and grab the packages. That is what I think will happen. Uh, boop. Let's see. Uh, chocolate. Uh, candy. Multiple boxes. You know, like, if you ever worked at, a, at any kind of store that has boxes, they always have a dolly where you load it up full of boxes and roll it around and then unload all the boxes. It's just, like, a very basic tool that, like, everything has. Every, every store has it if you have boxes of some sort. Or a flatbed. Flatbed's just a bigger version of that. You want a cafe in your supermarket. <gasps> I know. Think of, like... All the little things he could add in the supermarket over time, like a butcher stand where you have to slice meat for people and then weigh the meat and then give them as much as they ordered. And then they have a bakery. We have to bake fresh bread and put it on the shelf to make me want to cheat on my diet. Or you could, uh, you know, have a seafood market. We got to fresh cut all the fish and stuff. That could be fun. 
Is this a single market? Uh, yes, this is a the dev making this is one person. Uh, this is, I think, his second game, and he's doing it all by himself. And he has sold 600,000 copies of this game already, so he can now afford to probably help hire a little help, which will help him get the updates out faster, which is great. I work in a, de a deli. It's not normally fun. Yeah, well, a deli, you got to, like, work with people that don't know how things work, and they make weird requests all the time. Any job where people can, can come and, like, tell you a custom thing, what they want, or customize an object, always leads to problems. Pretty much in any... Whether you're serving sandwiches or meat or... any Like, if people can request customizations, oh, they come up with the weirdest stuff. There's a post on um, Reddit about crazy Starbucks orders where people will make the most ridiculous orders on Starbucks. And they post them um, on the forum to show like these crazy things that people are ordering. Bros made 7.8 million so far. Uh, let me see. Okay, let's see. Calculator. So 600,000 copies times seven, uh, $13 um, minus Steam's fee. So that'd be, so if he would have 5,468,000 and then taxes probably around 40% for that amount. So he'll have about $2 million left after taxes and um, Steam's fee. But that's a life changing amount of money for someone to just get at a young age to make games so hopefully he uses it wisely and invests it wisely and you know doesn't go crazy with it he also has to wait for um for steam to give him the money i think you have to wait 30 or even sometimes 60 days to get your money from steam and then because it's such a large amount being transferred they might like have to file forms and paperwork and with his bank to get it to go there uh, it's going to be an interesting process. Because you think like you're a bank and all of a sudden this person that's never had more than a thousand dollars in her account suddenly gets deposited two million dollars. It's probably going to get flagged for like ten, for like fraud or possibly money laundering. They'll have to like investigate it and like prove that the money is not illegal and you know stuff like that. I don't know how things work in Turkey because uh, he lives in Turkey. So then you might have to worry about I don't know, whatever government regulations they have in Turkey about large amounts of money and stuff. And I don't even know what the tax rate in, in Turkey is for money. 40%? Uh, uh, yeah, if the highest tax bracket, the one, the big tax bracket in um, the U.S., if you don't have, like, if you don't abuse loopholes and stuff, is about 40%. But most rich people abuse loopholes and stuff, so they pay them far less, but... That is what the IRS would charge without, like, doing crazy, fancy, like, putting some into, like, a retirement account and, like, subtracting expenses and stuff. Like, you could find ways to get the number down, but that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah, whenever, like, a huge chunk of money goes around like that, especially in accounts that never had that much money before, that. They're going to be like, hey, what is this? Where does this come from? Why are you getting two million? What's going on, bro? Uh, you got me into this game the other day, and I'm level 18. Congrats, Amanda. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, U.S. has tiered tax brackets. So, like, if, you're, if you get $2 million, you're suddenly in the highest one. Let's play. Boom. It's a lot of money. It's why on, like, game shows when someone wins a million dollars, they don't get a million dollars. They get far less than that because the IRS is like, oh, hello. Hi. You want us some money. Thank you. Yay. You want us a million dollars. Yay. We'll just take half of that. Thank you. Congrats. All right. Uh... I know. Thanks for winning us some money. 
Yeah, prize taxes are crazy. They can go. They even go even higher on prize taxes. <laughs> Some stats are saying 900,000 sold. Oh, it might have because it's been a few days. He may have been sold in even more copies. Uh, this was the number 30 most sold, the highest selling game on Steam yesterday. So it's probably still going. The finished lottery is tax free. What? You mean that if, if in the finished lottery you win a million dollars, you get the million dollars? You don't have to like... They don't just take a big chunk of it before they give it to you? Oh, wow. Same in Sweden? God, we get ripped off in the U.S. <laughs> God. That's how it works in Canada and the U.K. and Estonia? That's bullshit! In the U.S., if you win a million dollars, the IRS is like, hey, I'll take half of that. Some crazy big chunk of it before they give it to you. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, they're like, here, we'll take, if you want a million, we'll take like 300, 400,000 of it here. Thank you. And then it also counts as income, so it makes your tax bracket go up if you got a lot of money from a prize for that year. Do you think they'll put it in Xbox? Hopefully. Um, it's not on, it, the game isn't done yet. It's just, it's on Steam in what the program called Early Access, which means that the game's actively being worked on. So we don't know when the game will be finished. And usually games don't go to consoles until they're done, done. So it could be a while. It could be a year or two. Unless they put it, Xbox does have an Early Access program, but it's not very popular. Power World was one of the few games that actually used it. Hopefully more games start using it. $99.50, ma'am. Thank you very much. You have a great day. Hello, madam. Sir, can I help you find anything? Bill, why are you looking at me like that? Your eyes are hollow holes of despair. I look into your eyes and I feel cold and empty. Oh, his eyes, man. They just, like, cut holes through me. Kind of creeps me out. Just started. Any tips? Um, yes, 20%. <laughs> I'll take a 20% tip. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> um, no, you just started. Any tips? Yes. Um, don't upgrade too quickly. Make sure that before you buy any upgrades in space or furniture and stuff, that you have enough money to restock your shelves. Or else you're going to get stuck in this weird hole. You're making, like, no money because you just you bought too much and you can't fill the shelves back up. So you're, like, slowly crawling your way back out of debt. And God forbid, don't... Okay, whatever you do, don't take out all three loans... And then spend every penny of that upgrading your store and have nothing on your shelves. Because then you will be stuck. Because you will have nothing to sell. <laughs> You'll have to sell the shelves and stuff to, like... It, it, don't get yourself into a, a pickle with the loans and stuff. So be careful. But other than that, it's, it's pretty simple. Just buy stuff. Put it on the shelf. List them slightly above market rate. You, you'll get it. It's pretty easy. What you said fell aimed at me. No, Livian, I wasn't aiming at you. I'm sorry. We've all made that mistake in this game, where you up, you buy too many upgrades and too many loans, and you then you, you're not making any money for a long time, and then you feel like you're in this debt hole that you'll never get out of. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've all made that mistake. It happens. Hi, right. sir. You look so sad, like you've been crying. Would you like to buy some tissues? We have them on sale for you. Buy one, get one. No? Okay. Keep crying then. All right. $8.25. That's a lot of potatoes, madam. One dollar. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Your total was $58. 
You gave me $59. Which means you gave me an extra dollar. So that means you must want change. So I shall give you a dollar and change. I can't imagine why else you would give me this extra dollar. Unless you're bad at math. There you go. It's not even all the same. Just maximum amount of annoyance. One dollar. Thank you. What, chat? She had it coming. Streamers are so out of touch they have to RP as a cashier. I cashiered for years. I know all about trying to sell that damn red card at Target. You can save 30% off your order today if you burr, 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 get some. You know. I did that for a long time. I was in the debt hole and had to start again. It happens. It happens. Don't worry. You, you'll eventually get out of the debt hole. If you just keep playing, keep going at it, you'll get there. Don't worry. 114. What's the end game in this? This is a sandbox simulator game, and the end game is always getting bored. You can play this game, Minecraft, other games like it forever. What stops you from playing is getting bored. It's how long can you play before you get bored. Some people it'll be days, weeks. Some people it'll be a couple hours. As long as you're just having fun, keep playing it. Because there is no end. It just keeps going. But right now, our current goal is to unlock the next series of products. We've got to get level 56 for that. So we just got to keep grinding levels. Yes, you can type the um, on the car keypad. They updated that last week, and it's a fantastic upgrade. They also added restockers, which helps as well. The constant beeping. Yeah, supermarkets are like that. This here. Beep, beep, beep. If I keep store stocked in the day and then um, back restocked in the morning, never run out of product? Yeah. yeah. If you, especially when you get the restocker, just always buy a little bit more than you need to restock the shelf. And then they'll keep the shelf topped off for you during the day. So you can just do like cashier or something. Eventually, you'll have enough employees. You can just sit here and just collect the money. New Hearthstone cards tomorrow. Oh, I forgot the game existed. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> I, I'm teasing, but yeah, I me I was I me Hearthstone used to be super big, but it's definitely fallen off over the years. People have kind of, and not just Hearthstone. Like every one of the Blizzard games are kind of like, kind of flopping. Like they're struggling a little bit to like keep players and not piss them off. It's it's kind of. Kind of annoying. It's like, can't we, can't we, whatever happened, Blizzard just sort of, it used to be when a Blizzard game came out, everyone universally was excited and loved them because you knew it was going to be a, an amazing game. When they released the game, you knew it was going to be damn awesome and you didn't have to think about it. Now, when, when there's a game come out, you, we get hesitant. For Overwatch, Hearthstone, World of Warcraft, and Diablo have all have all been disappointing to people. Not everybody, but most people are kind of disappointed by all of them. Either broken promises or weird design decisions and stuff. And I just hope that someday we, Blizzard finds their way back. Now they're free of Activision. Let's let's hope. Let's hope. Okay. Let's wait on them check out. Okay, let's see. Alright, we need we can't really order anything, so we'll just let them restock for a minute and then let the bills process. What are we out of? Fries. So I can at least make an order for the morning. Let's go ahead and buy some fries. I think my yogurt is good. So I have uh, it as a dollar less than MSP. The NPCs won't buy it. Um, first of all, a good tip from the game to make money is 
always have your price of a product equal to or slightly higher than the market price. You never need to go lower. Customers just randomly choose what items to buy when they enter your shop. And sometimes they will go a very long time without buying something. And it's, and it's nothing to do with like what you price it as. It's just that they like roll a random dice and then what they roll is what they buy. And sometimes, like for example, I've had this butter stocked forever and it's not priced too high. It's market price and they're just not buying it for whatever reason. But another product like chicken or toilet paper, that goes empty all the time. Just some sort of randomization of what they choose to buy isn't like pure random and they just some items just kind of get stuck there and stuff. Uh, how do you have no money? Are we uh, we modeling? Uh, I'm just waiting up. We're spending all of our money on upgrades. The upgrades later in the game start getting really expensive. Like, for example, um, to upgrade the next square of the store to make it bigger is $16,500. To buy the next um, license to get new products is $12,500. Like, they get crazy expensive. So if I want to get another square and then the ability to buy new products, I need a good... $28,000, $29,000, like, that's more money than I've ever seen in my total. It's crazy. <laughs> You're in debt, yeah. Um, it happens, at the debt hole in the grind is is real in this game. Yeah, Concern 8 uh, revealed the new type of farm is coming with update 1.6, and it's going to be a uh, ranch-focused farm that has bluegrass that makes the um, animals happy. And you start with a coop, which is like, <gasps> what? What? Like, whoa. Um, fries. Okay, yes, fries. Oh, good. You're, st you're topping things off. We like that. Okay, I need some green toilet paper. Green toilet paper. Um, let's see. Check, 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 check. Green toilet paper. Could use a little pink coffee and some orange flour. Pink coffee, orange flour. Flour. Two. Oh. And then some coffee. A little coffee. Some orange chips and all the potatoes. Oh my god, I got warned about potatoes and I didn't listen, did I? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, potatoes was one thing. Oh god, and I forgot the other one. Ch orange chips. Doritos. Chips. Okay, chips. Get that order in. And... So let's order some more uh, six packs of milk. Get that ordered. Milk. Wouldn't it be easier to check storage? Uh, if I was organized, yes. But <laughs> for me, I have everything just so randomly thrown up here that I have to look at the shelf. Because my shelves are... The last thing someone would call my shelves in the back is organized. <laughs> I think chaos, madness, heat crazy would be something we'd hear before we hear. Oh, that's so organized. <laughs> okay, got the milk. Need some orange beer and peanut butter. Orange beer, peanut butter, salmon, and orange juice. One, two, three. Um, salmon. Orange juice. What else did I say? Um, some dishwashing stuff would be fine. Go for some dishwashing. Oh, not sish. Dish. Dishwashing tablets. Okay. Get that ordered. All right. Uh, some fries. Boop. And some more fries. Boop. 
And some potatoes. And some more potatoes. Okay, Dan, you finally got me. Picked this game up last night and nearly slept through my alarm this morning. Where does the time go? Got him! <laughs> we did it, guys. We got Lucky Gun to almost miss work by getting him hooked on the game. Good job, guys. We did it. Is this multiplayer? No. Peanut butter. Thank you for the reminder on peanut butter. Gotta order that peanut butter. Peanut butter. Uh, no multiplayer, um, but you can hire um, NPCs that you could pretend are your friends. You know. Like Bill's my friend and Reese is my friend. I have lots of friends. Bill and Reese. All right, put the potatoes on the shelf. And the bidet toilet paper. It's ironic that the toilet paper is called bidet. Like I wouldn't want people to know about bidets if I'm toilet paper. All right, uh, some chips. Throw those on the shelf. Most of my friends are NPCs anyways, yes. Can you play this offline? Yes, it's an indie game. The game... <laughs> Get this, is only $13, and you don't have to be online to play it. Imagine that. I don't think that was possible in 2024 to have an offline single-player game that didn't cost $70 with in-store microtransactions. <laughs> it's, it's nice, though. Inconceivable! Do you know you can sprint? Yes, it just gets motion people sick. People motion sick on stream when they watch the a streamer sprinting, so I try not to do it too much. It, do, it does make it very streaky, and that can trigger people's motion sickness. So I don't sprint too much for your your benefit. You're welcome. You never know. That's true. You never know nowadays. Also laggy. Yeah, I can make it blur a little bit too. While well, I've been playing, we're we're I think we're over 60 hours in this playthrough. And we still don't have all the items or all the unlocks. It's it's crazy. We gotta keep that grind going. Put that up there. When did you start? Um, oh, do uh, you mean on Twitch? Do you mean when did I start streaming? When did I start the stream today? Or when did I start my store? I'm gonna assume store. Uh, store would be a week and a half ago, I think. Uh, on the gate. Okay, yeah, about a week and a half ago, we started it. I, I was like, this game can't be that fun. It's just like ringing people's groceries and stocking shelves. It doesn't sound fun. And I started playing it, and then four or five hours went by, and I didn't. I was like, what happened? It felt like twenty minutes. I'm like, oh man. I oh god, it's gonna be one of those like good ones where you end up playing for hours and hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Everyone that plays this game has the same story. They say, oh, I decided to try that game out, and then I ended up playing for four hours without realizing it. Same story every time. <laughs> it's like, I, I thought I, I, saw, I saw you or a streamer playing this, thought I would try it, and then four hours went by. I don't know how it happened. It just went boop. <laughs> that was my first day yesterday. Yep. Why the blue guys just stood there? That means they don't have anything to restock. So we just need people to come buy stuff so they can restock the shelves. Um, but the joke's on them. They get paid by the hour, and I've t and time doesn't move in the beginning of the day. <laughs> the thing happened that I started Gas Station Simulator. Gas Station Simulator is a good one as well. That one's fun. Latest news from the dev? We haven't heard anything from him, I don't think. He's just quietly working on the next update. We don't know when it will come, but he's just working on it. Did you buy the peanut butter? <laughs> One would, if someone was a good player, they would have, but I forgot. Oops. Can you make your store as big as Walmart? Um, I don't think so. I don't think it gets that big. 
but there's always the game's not done yet, so it could it could definitely get bigger over time. Because there's so many things that he can add over time to expand the size of sort like butchery or bakery, olive bar. I always see olive bars at at grocery stores. I've never once that thought to myself, "Ooh, I should stop here and get some of these." Are, are you guys the people that shop there? Because it's not me. They have them in every grocery store, like a good olive bar, or sometimes it's a salad bar at a grocery store. I've like never. Never felt the the nerve, the yeah, the need to stop and get some from there. I've never seen anyone there buying them either. Just like they're always there. Someone must be buying from these olive bars they have set up. Oh, oh my God! I'm sorry. <laughs> I was talking and I ignored you. I'm sorry. Have a great day. I'm just sitting there talking. And he's just like, can you ring my groceries out, please? Yeah, we'll be playing Stardew Valley tomorrow with the new update. I'm expecting good things. Stardew Valley is another game where like the time just sort of melts away without realizing it. <laughs> Hello, and then that'll be you get two dollars and seventy-five cents back. Have a great day, Kufu Kufu Fami. Thank you for a hundred nine month resub. Um, it is pun day Monday, so I am going to give you a terrible pun. <clears throat> a man just assaulted me with milk, cream, and butter. How dare he? Red Raven, thank you for subbing. A son on the lawn of the drug rehab center said, keep off the grass. Captain12, thank you for that 33-month resub. I can hear music coming from my printer. I think the paper's jamming again. <sighs> Thanks for subbing on Punday Monday, guys. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I'll ring out your groceries now. 121.25. It, it's We're done with puns. As long as we don't get any more subscribers or gift subs or anything, we're done for the day. So we're there's no more. As long as we don't get any more, then we're good. We're done with puns. It's over. All right, let's see. That'll be 143.35. Thank you. Uh, milk, tea, soap, $62.75. Thank you very much. Uh oh. Hand, hand, band. Thank you for the 20 month resub. I went to a restaurant last night and had the Wookiee steak. It was a little chewy. <sighs> Star Wars puns. Mahami, thank you for that 55 month resub. Don't trust people that do acupuncture. They're backstabbers. <laughs> oh, they keep getting worse. Oh, getting some soda. 10.50. You have a great day. Thank you. The game called uh, Ground is coming to consoles. Consoles, uh, Ground is a really good survival game. Highly recommend it. Any news from the update about adding this game to consoles? Unfortunately, no, but the game is not done yet, so it probably won't be on console until they get the game finished. Because um, usually on PlayStation, I don't think has an early access program. Xbox does, but getting them on there is kind of a pain. So we'll see, though. Maybe they'll add it at some point. Hello. Have a great day, sir. R-Dub, thank you for that two-month resub. People were called to a daycare center where a three-year-old was resisting arrest. Resisting arrest. <laughs> um, oh, hello there. Oh, goodbye, Simra. Thanks for stopping by. Let's see, 140.5. Oh, we're currently level 51. All right, let's see. Thank you. Vanquisher, thank you for that 58-month resub. 
You want to see my money amount? Um, click the little square icon to switch to horizontal view, and you can see the the um, how much money we have in my level and stuff. Uh, vertical mode won't have it, so just hit to switch to horizontal if you want to see the UI. And more of the screen too. Hello there. That'll be twenty-seven dollars, sir. You have a great day, Daryl Van Horn. Thank you for that sixty-four month resub. Oh, Bridget Gray, thank you for the heart. I appreciate that. Sorry if I missed that earlier. A little sound didn't go off. Daryl Van Horn, thank you for a sixty-four month vanquisher of fifty-eight months. Thank you guys. I have uh, three restockers. Seems to be a good number. People who lack the patience for calligraphy will never have properly formed characters. I don't get that one. Coffee is the silent victim in our house. It gets mugged every day. Uh, that one. I get that one. I don't want to get it, but I get it. 98.50. Oh, hello there. Pasta and hummus. Interesting combo. What bills you have to pay regularly? Um... These get deducted every day. If you go to your man management and then bills, you can see what you have to pay every day. So here I have to pay $125 in rent and then $230 in um, electricity. And those get tallied up automatically every day. Um, and you don't have to pay them manually. They'll pay themselves at the end of the day. You're enjoying the puns? Well, thank you. And thank you for the follow. All right, let's see. Scan, scan, scan. Hello there. 134.25. Beautiful. All right, 42.55. I made a mistake at the grocery store. I went to get six sprites, accidentally picked seven up. Oh, no. <laughs> I meant to get six sprites, but I accidentally picked seven up. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Is your game bugged? I have people getting stuck in, like, groups of four. Stuck? Um, you like, in your store or, like, at grocery lines? This is great. I know. Some of the puns are great, but not all of them. Hello, Maria. Ouch, Dan. Ouch. Is this pre-recorded? No. Um, we're live on YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok at the same time. He's getting an accountant, yes. It says, how many do you know? Um, I haven't seen anyone get stuck yet. Sounds like you might have a bug or something. Maybe try restarting the game, see if that fixes it for you. Um, you restart the game by going to the main menu and back. It'll reset all the customers and then reset their AI so they get fixed. Sometimes if you, like, move something or change something around when they're, like, trying to do stuff, they get confused and they get, like... I'd had four shoppers get glitched in front of a shelf. I've heard people getting about stalkers and customers getting stuck in front of shelves and stuff. I haven't had that issue yet. I don't know why it keeps happening to some people, but... It's a bug that, keep, that I hear happening a lot to people where, like, customers or the stalkers will just, like look at a shelf and like stand there and not like won't like move i don't know like what causes it i haven't seen it personally but if you restart your game by going to the main menu and back it will it will um or just go cl close the game entirely and go back in it seems to fix it for a while uh i i don't know sometimes it happens randomly i don't know like what's going on chat whose discord just went off Someone's Discord just went off. I heard the boop boop. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. There it is. Volume mixer. Who came to my computer and turned on my Discord volume? Who was it? That was sabotage. It's been a while since I've been in the stream, and the store looks a lot better than last time. Well, thank you, Stas. Welcome back. Good to see you again. All right. We got to do some ordering. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of ordering. 
Okay, so I can see right off the bat we need flower over there. We need a little bit of orange, a little bit of blue, and a lot of red. So, flower. Flower. So, just one. And then, one, two, three, four. Okay, get the flower on the shelf. Might get unstuck when I put the thing they look in front of them. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they're running out of shelf space. I don't know. I don't know what caused it. It could be so many things. I was moving the shelves, the stock, and this happened to me. Yeah, it might be like if if you... It's probably a good idea if you ever move like something away. Or you change the tag on something. on a. They might just get confused if you ever like swap a tag and they just can't find the tag. Or like they want to put it there but you took it away. Or so, I don't know. There's so many possibilities. I'm sure he's aware of it. Oh, yeah. If you haven't seen the update um, last week, they made it so you can see what's in a box when you put it on the shelf. So I can see there's eight of that thing in there, which is amazing. Fat customers stand in place when checkouts are full. Oh, I have had that happen where when the checkouts are all full and they can't find a place to go, they'll just, like, stand there until a spot opens up. That's normal. Uh, that's that won't break anything. They're just standing there waiting for a, a checkout to open. Once one does, they'll go in, in line. All right. Um, a little more. We need both toilet papers, as always. One, two, three, four. Toilet paper is a hot commodity in the our store. Uh, looks like some cleaning supplies, some hand soap. And some detergent? No. Um, was it cleaner? No. I think it might be a dish. The word dish. Yeah, there it is. Okay, dish soap. Uh, I like to move the computer out here when I'm ordering stuff in the morning. That way I don't have to run in the back room every time. I put it there, I look at what I need, I order, and then I go back there and place then I place the order here and then put it back in the back when I open up the store for the day. And then some hot sauce. Okay. Uh, we need some mashed potatoes. Those are looking a little low. Do a little bit of that. Okay, and Yeah, they can, my chala. Well, everyone, I'm currently level 51, and I'm on day uh, 160 in game. <laughs> so I've been playing a long time. A whole long time. The next expansion costs $16,000. <laughs> you heard me right. $16,000. Which is a massive grind. It's a big, big grind. Two of those. You know what's funny? Watch it be that this game is secretly a crypto miner. And that we're all like... Every time we sell groceries or restock shelves... That's calculating cryptocurrency in the background. He's making billions of dollars off of us. He got us to... to be fun crypto miners like <laughs> gotcha I'm like well good for you you made it fun and now I'm hooked so I'm gonna keep doing it ordered mayonnaise instead of mustard oh we don't have mustard in the store yet we have ketchup hot sauce and mayo but no mustard mustard will probably come soon uh, with a license uh, I would you would think we'd have mustard already but for some reason we don't all right, cheese. A little bit of ch uh, cheese, a little bit of chicken. Looks like some pizza. Red pizza. Okay, one, two, and then some pizza. And then always more chicken. I feel like I'm always ordering chicken. Need a way to make chicken less annoying to keep stocked. W will game stop sending customers if he jacks up prices? No, uh, you, 
you're, you get a certain number of customers every day based on your store level. The higher your level, the more customers you get. And then the customers will buy a lot more stuff on average if your store level is higher. When you first start out, they're going to only like buy one or two products, at maybe three at a time. And then later on, they're going to buy like 20 items at a time. So it's just like they sell more stuff. Your store level is what determines how many you get and how much they'll buy each day. Beginning, like, when you have your little one-room shop, they'll buy almost nothing. And then later on, you get, like, massive amount. It, if, they wa if your price is really high, um, they have a chance when they walk in to say an item's too expensive and they won't buy it. But occasionally, you might crit with the roll in the background and they'll buy it at some crazy price. Yeah, usually 10 to 15% above market rate is, like, the good sweet spot where they'll almost always buy it. Very rarely will they say it's too low or too high. 10 to 15%. I usually just do a quarter, personally. Is this only a computer game? Yes, it's currently only on PC, but I expect console port will be in the future. Oh, yeah, I agree, Jammers. 6%, they don't complain at all. Yep, if you find a good sweet spot for your prices, just keep doing that. That way they won't... Um, They'll eventually buy if they're too expensive, but just they won't buy every time. Whereas with, if you kind of want to get them out quicker. All right, put that in there. Are you streaming on Twitch as well as TikTok? Yes, I stream on all uh, three platforms at once. If you follow my profile in the chat, um, you can see all my links there. Or just Google Dan's Gaming. I'm on everywhere. I make uh, content on all platforms every single day. I even am on the Twitters. Well, they call it X now, but I still call it Twitter, and I won't change because I'm old. All right, uh, hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. I know. I just like calling them tweets. I don't like calling them zeets or whatever they're supposed to be now. I'm like, just sounds weird. All right. Um. All right, more chicken. I'm going to get all this chicken on the shelf. Put that in the back there. Uh, Sour Punch Kid, thank you for that 71-month resub on Punday Monday. Again, it's Punday Monday. What we do on, pun on Mondays, if anyone does a paid sub on YouTube, TikTok, or Twitch, um, I will read a terrible pun for you. Peep, uh, my ceiling isn't the best, but it's up there. Nobody ever asks Coca-Cola how Coca-Cola is doing. It's always, is Pepsi okay? What? I don't get that one. That one's ter That one's bad. I don't get that one. Is Pepsi okay? I don't. I don't get that one. For me, it's always the opposite. No one ever has Pepsi products. They always have Coke. And if you try to ask for Pepsi, they're like, "Is Coke okay?" <laughs> I think I think that's what they mean. But it's for me, it's always they always have Coke. They never have Pepsi products. Yeah, I, I guess I guess if it's like someone always has Pepsi products and you ask for Coke, they're like, "Is Pepsi okay?" Yeah, okay, I, I get it. I get it. Can you play this on the Mac? Um, no. Not yet. But they might port it to Mac at some point. You never know. Because you like the wrong one. <laughs> Hand hearts from Little T Plus. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Thank you very much for your generous gift. Hello, I sell the... Oh, God. Oh, man. Why are there bots? Why are there bots? All right, let me boop. You know, I reported someone for spam the other day. And they were banned very quickly. Twitch actually banned them like within 10 minutes. It was they said we took action to report and the account is now banned. I was like, "Whoa, god. Thank you." So, if you ever see bots in chats, just make sure to report them cuz it do, they do look at it and they 
ban them quickly if they if it's an obvious spot now. Like that was a very obvious spot. Yeah, the one they take action in your port, like yes. Some some bots are just like you can easily tell by his chat history that it's definitely a bot. So those get banned very quickly. You worked for Coke before. Nice. Pepsi just doesn't taste good. Pepsi is definitely a lot sweeter. Um, my household grew up on Pepsi products. Like my mom and dad, they love they loved Pepsi. They would just Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Seven Up. They had all the Pepsi stuff. Or was it Sprite? For, I can't remember if Sprite or Seven Up is Pepsi. What? Whichever one's Pepsi. Yeah, they they loved sweet. They they were the type of people that. Lo <laughs> okay, let me describe how my mom um, would get her coffee in the morning. <laughs> uh, okay, so my mom would have a big old jug of that like super sweet sweetener stuff. I think she got like Italian international, and she would get like a big jug of like mint chocolate, and she would pour it in there. She put like half the cup of coffee and like half the cup of creamer, sweet creamer. And then she would take flavored whipped cream and sh 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 right on the top. So you can tell why she likes Pepsi. She liked super sweet stuff. She does like the sweetest. She was a very, very sweet woman, but so it makes sense that she liked sweet products because you are what you eat. But uh, yeah, she would just get all the sugar. She just loves sugar. Uh, she didn't have to worry about any diet stuff because uh, unfortunately she uh, she got melanoma and passed away from it a couple years ago. So she just got to eat whatever she wanted. She just enjoyed life with the time she had left. Yeah, it was sad. Are you playing Final Fantasy Rebirth in time soon? Yep, we're currently playing it. Um, you can find it on our YouTube channel if you missed any streams of it. Yeah, she was she she was always in chat. She was hanging out in our chat. Her screen name was Cool Old Fart. Because my mom liked fart jokes and stuff. That's where my love of fart jokes came from. Because she loved that stuff. <laughs> and she'd be in every stream. She'd just type my little emotes. Let's see. Okay. Uh, her last... Oh, God. Don't make me cry. <laughs> her last message... Um, oh, God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to... Uh, okay. Her last message was May 14th, 2021. She said... Hello, Dan and chat. Dan wave, Dan love. That was her. That was her last message in chat. <laughs> you never, ever get over the death of your parent, but you somehow learn to live each day with it. You, you find a way to get through the day. The pain never goes away, but you learn to manage to live even with the pain you find a way through it that's that's what grief is like when you lose a, a family member it's just it's finding a way to navigate life when life will never be the same yeah i i hope none of you have to go through that anytime soon but just a reminder if you have a good relationship with your mother or father just and like they're a good person that you need in your life, so not every parent is the same. Just make sure that you call them, you tell them you love them, you send them messages once in a while because there will be a time when you can't do it anymore, and you'll regret every day you didn't. So just, just make sure you let your parents know that you love them once in a while because you won't always be able to. I know. 
Well, we brought the stream down. <laughs> Depression. <laughs> oh, now we're all sad. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Now we're all sad. <laughs> yep. Do it while you can. And again, as I said, if if there's someone you want in your life, because not every not every parent is someone you want in your life, unfortunately. So only you know your relationship to your parents. That's why more puns? Yes, more puns. <laughs> uh let's see. Two peanuts are walking down the street. One is assaulted. <laughs> it's assaulted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's so stupid. That's so stupid. I mean, I get it, but it's so stupid. <laughs> what level are you? We're uh, level 51. If you ever want to see our level, you can just switch to horizontal mode, and you'll see on the top right the um, UI. It gets cut off in the vertical view on TikTok. How much time did you play Super Mario Simulator? Way too much. Probably like 60 hours. Right? We're on day... Uh, like 160 or something. Currently, let me check. Uh, mark uh, management bills. We're on day actually 136. 136 again. So we went through 136 uh, days. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello there. Thank you, Kodiak, for the five gift subs. Appreciate that. Four fifty. My husband's starting to hate me with the puns I'm relaying to him. <laughs> oh Lord! Just bought this game recently, and I'm loving it. Awesome, Queen. I'm glad you're enjoying. Hello, Gage. It's a uh, thirteen dollars on Steam, so it's pretty cheap, and I've been playing it for more than I've played a lot of seventy-dollar games. It's just that fun. Oh my god, Felix with the rose. Thank you so much. Let's go. All right, honeybees. If any of you guys are having a good time on TikTok, don't forget to follow. Uh, does It's easy to lose live streams. I, so if you're enjoying yourself and you uh, haven't followed yet, be sure to give a follow. Because it is very easy to lose a stream forever if you accidentally scroll away. And if you're having fun, if you're not having fun, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm so punny and boring. <laughs> Let's hope you're having a good time, though. All right, grab all that. And uh, 113 on your card, sir. Thank you. Uh, right now, we're just in the, we're grinding to level 56. Uh, once we get level 56, we can start getting new products. And we got to save up a lot of money for the licenses for those. Very expensive. I can play Rise of Ronin. Yes! And Dragon's Dogma. And we'll be checking out the PC port of Horizon as well for a little bit. Oh my god! Uh, thank you for the the little note. Uh, low eyes and... Low eyes the sensei. Oh my god. I can't pronounce things very often. <laughs> I hope I got that somewhat right. Oh, thank you for the heart pups. Tasha, thank you so much. 54.75. And Lois, thank you for some more notes. Thank you. All right, let's see. That will be $109.75, sir, on your card. Hello, it's a lot of bleach and cookies, sir. Uh, 42.50. You have a great day now. Uh, let's see. Thank you. 105.25. Thank you very much. And 92.50. Goodbye. Are oh, not your things given to TikTok? People are supporting the stream? Yeah. Uh, they can. On TikTok, they can give what's called GIFs, which are basically like bits. So, like, they're like a little little picture and have like a monetary value. It's like a little thank you. I did good. Felix, thank you for that note as well. Thank you. Are you going to play Tomb Raider Remastered? We'll probably play that in the summertime when there's a lack of games. There's been, there's been so many games lately I've been stuck on, including this one. Oh, welcome Queen Switchblade from TikTok. 
Good to see you in the Twitch chat. Okay, I gotta run the bathroom after I ring this guy up. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real fast. So I'll be right back in a minute. Let them finish up. Make sure that no one steals anything, chat. I'll be right back. Oh no. The customer's been waiting for like an hour. Oops. Here we go. Thank you very much. 5725. You have a great day, sir. And oh wow, that's a lot of products. Exact change. You have a great day. Next day. Alright, beautiful. Oh my god, so many new followers on the TikTok stream. Thank you. Can you open and close a till? No, the only way to like turn it off is to pack it up. Unfortunately. I have to put an alarm to stop playing this game. <laughs> oh no. You have to like set yourself an alarm to make sure you don't play too many hours. This is one of those games that like it's easy just to accidentally dump five hours on without realizing it because you played too much. It's like, oopsie. Apple juice is the only price change. Thank you for letting me know. All right, let me. Uh... Oh, I'll drop it two seventy-five. Thank you. All right, so we are out of vodka. We are out of mozzarella cheese. Let me sure we get those ordered right now. So vodka, vodka. Mozzarella. And then dish tablets. Get that ordered. Oh. 
How about some milk? We could use a lot more milk. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, we're good on butter. I've not. I've never sold out of butter because it stacks so high. Hmm. You know, we're not like out of anything, so we can just really just go ham. Let's open and sell stuff. Okay. Let's open. And I'll put the stuff in the back. Trust well, thank you for that resub. Appreciate that. You didn't pay your rent. It pays automatically in the end of every day, so you don't have to worry about paying it manually. You can do it if you want, but you don't have to. At the end of the day, um, it'll automatically deduct um, rent and electricity out of your profits for the day. Uh, the one thing you have to pay manually is loans, though, because you will get late fees on loans if you don't pay those. So make sure you pay those loans every day. Hand hearts from Kale Chips. Two of them. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Live goal achieved. Thank you, guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you for filling that up. You guys are badass. Put some Bach on the shelf. You kept manually paying the bills. I know they. You can. You have to manually pay your loans without getting late fees, but your bills do it automatically, which is it doesn't make any sense. Why? What's one is one way, and one is the other. Yeah, you, you can pay bills manually if you want to. You find that fun, but you don't have to if you don't want to. I just started. The one cashier is so slow. Do they get any faster? I wish I could tell you yes, Nori, but unfortunately. The cashier is slow. Hopefully we get some sort of upgrade system for our employees in the future. That would be fun. Where, like, you can pay them more money and then they'll get better. Or you can upgrade their skills or something. Send them to school to learn. Well, actually, I don't think they have cashier school <laughs> now I think about it. Some sort of training, though. Some sort of, like, how to scan things faster or, you know. Increasing the like and then if they're better at their job, you have to pay them more each day. Ow! Oh, oh no, I did the knee thing. Oh, I banged my knee. Oh. What is it with sharp corner desks and like banging your knee on it? It hurts so bad. Oh, okay. Whew. I want female uh cashiers. Yeah, like even other male cashiers, because right now the cashiers are all the same. Bullseye from Avian or Ivy Ivan I for an I can't tell what's the what it is. <laughs> you know who you are. Thank you very much. Slow and steady, always get the correct change, never break take breaks or complain. True, that's true. He never makes mistakes. Ivan, okay, I wasn't sure if it was Ivan because the four was throwing me off. I couldn't figure sometimes it's some sometimes the four is silent, sometimes you Pronounce it as four. I don't know. But thank you, Ivan. Groovy with the gifts. Ivan with another heart. You guys are insane today with all those gifts. Thank you very much. Can we agree Bill is the best worker, Sierrama says. Yes. I will give Bill. He may Bill is slow, but he never takes a break. He never goes home. He's always here. Always working, so I give him credit for that. He's not the fastest worker, but he does work nonstop, all day, every day. Thank you for all those follows, guys. You guys are wonderful. Hi, sir. I have not seen your model before. You look amazing compared to the other. Your model is so detailed. The shirt, the face, the hair. Like, you look very... Like, that's an almost realistic-looking face compared to some of the others that aren't so... Uh, where is she? Some people don't look quite as nice as... It, I feel like he's sneaking in, like, new models for uh, customers. Or I unlocked a new customer by, oops, by like, reaching a certain level. Oh my god, Ivan with all the hearts and the lightning bolts and the bananas and Groovy with the rose and the tickets. And, oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Watch you pay your bills? They pay automatically at the end of the day. You don't have to pay them manually. They'll deduct themselves with no late fee, so I never pay them manually. If they charge the late fee, I would, though. 
Uh, yeah, you can use the numpad now that they updated the game. Before you had to like type in manually the numbers. Now you can just type it on your keyboard. Four fifty. Who keeps ringing the doorbell? That's the TikTok stream. Uh, they're giving a bunch of gifts and stuff. They're, they're like bits. If you uh, you know on Twitch they have bits, but bits aren't as popular. I, people don't really like the bit system very much. I don't think. I think they're just too expensive. Twitch charges too much for them. I don't see them very often. Occasionally, but not very often. Uh, can you type number for a credit keyboard? Do you have to use them? Uh, so when when you have a credit card order, you just type on your numpad, and then it'll work. I don't think there's anything else you have to do for it. All right, let's see. Hi. Hello there. My tweet is blowing up from earlier today. It is exploding. Someone um, typed on one of my videos um, a, a mean YouTube comment, or a stupid YouTube comment, I should say, and then I tweeted it, and now it's like blowing up over there. <laughs> nice to see the organized shelves. Thank you, Chase Light. Yeah, it's nice and, nice and organized for now. Hey, to smart with a hot 200 bits. Thank you. Uh, it should just work. Um, when you go to like the keypad, just typing in the numbers should just work for you on your numpad. If I think you can use the numbers at the top of the keyboard too. I don't think it has to be the numpad. All right, restocking. Seven p.m. Are we out of anything? Getting a little low on pepper. A little suspiciously low on pepper. Uh, see, we need. People are buying milk like crazy for some reason. And white bleach. I mean, white bleach and milk. KK, thank you for the 89 month resub on Monday, Monday. Thank you very much. Get your pun in a second. All right. And 78, 75. Do you know what's weird to think about is. In the 80s and the 90s, when I grew up, if you want, if you thought of a, uh, you had a random question in your brain, you couldn't just look it up instantly. You had to like take time and effort to go either search the answer or hope someone around you knows the answer. But nowadays, if I have the most random of thought, I can look it up instantly on my phone on Google. But in the 80s and 90s, I couldn't do that. I would have to like wait or just forget about it never learn it it's such a different time now and then i couldn't go on a, like a like a crazy long binge of topic to topic to topic keep looking up more and more random facts you ever have one of those like wikipedia days where you're like you go to look up one thing, and somehow you end up on another, and then another, and then you get into this rabbit hole of, like, game lore, or the making of a movie, or the drama behind the set of a movie you want to watch. Like, it just keeps going and going and going, you just keep going on a rabbit hole of information. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> One oh three, boom. The Dewey Decimal System. Oh, man. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, $69. Nice. Nice. <laughs> it's a good amount of money. I wonder if people knew where a store or something was before MapQuest came out. Yeah, uh... So, I actually took, my parents actually took a vacation in the 90s um, before MapQuest was a thing, okay? And basically, we had to pick a place we, that they either saw on TV or someone told them about in person. And so, we went to the grocery store and bought a giant map of all the highways and roads in the United States for the states that we were going to drive through. So we have this big, giant map. And then my parents would take a highlighter 
and draw the line through all the pages of where we were going on the highway and where we're getting off. And then my mom would be in the passenger seat. And then she would be in charge of the map, and my dad would be in the driver's seat, and he would be yelling at her about how he, she missed a turn, you know, like you know, how parents are. Then they would flip halfway through the trip when they swap places, and he'd be in charge of the map. And then it was it was funny, like you'd have to use this paper map to figure out where you're going, and yeah, it was it was a very different time, very different time. Yeah, word of mouth and ads were like the way you figured out where places were to like go on vacation and stuff. But man, I remember when MapQuest came out for the first time. And you could type in one location and then another location and it would make the map for you. And even tell you where to make turns and where to like. It was a game changer. It was my dad would print out like twenty plus pages of on his printer, his inkjet printer of like where to go and like all the instructions and stuff. And it was like, it was amazing. It was mind blowing technology. It was the moment where like, you're like, wow, the future is here. Because I grew up in, my childhood was in the 90s. So I went through like ages 3 through, 3 through 13 in the 90s. So I got to, exp no, three, 3 through 14 in the 90s. So I got to experience like going from everything being analog to everything being digital and on the internet. Like I got to experience like just a drastically different time from as things went over time. Yeah, I'm 38 now. So I got to like I got to experience like what it was like when you wanted to call somebody and you had to have their number written down in your address book or fancy your your um auto dialer thing on your landline phone. It was some good it was interesting times. Then going to like where we had caller ID was the first thing ever like it came out. That was amazing. It's it's mind blowing how different my childhood was compared to now in terms of tech and how people are and what life was like back then. I remember when no one had a phone. When you left your house, no one could talk to you. No one could call you. You were separated from people. It was a very different time. I remember staring out the window of my car for hours on end because I didn't have a phone to play on. I just had to, like, daydream and think about stuff or just zone out because I they didn't have anything to do in the backseat of a car when you're a kid. Oh, except when I got my Game Boy. Oh, Game Boy Color and Pokemon. That, that changed everything. But before that time, I just had to sit there and just stare out the car window. I have, that's why I have photograph memory of growing up or knew all the places were. Yes. Collect calls. Yes. <laughs> I remember the, God, the commercial was 10, 10, 3, 2, 1 was like the big thing. Call everyone, collect. Call people, collect. I, I remember going into restaurants and then being like, would you like the, now this is going to shock some of you. Would you like the smoking or non-smoking section of the restaurant? Do you remember that? When you could smoke inside? <laughs> that used to be a thing. You could, like, smoke inside. <laughs> Anywhere. My grandma was a smoker, so we'd always sit in the smoking section for her. Bleach. I uh, know. I remember that, like... It didn't matter if you were in the non-smoking section. You still had to smell all that stamp, damn cigarette smoke from the other section. I love how they pretended like just because you're on a different side of the room, suddenly there was no smoke on your side of the room. <laughs> like, um, like uh, yeah, smoke travels, you know. Yeah, airplanes also, you could smoke on those. I, didn't, I never flew back then, but that was a thing. All right, we need some six-pack of milk. Order some of those. I remember the first time ever 
sending a text message when it was brand new technology and being like amazed that I could send a message on my phone to somebody and they could reply without having to call. It was, it was insane. It was like, this is magic. Freaking magic. On your flip phone. Do you remember the flip phones? The early phones that we all had? All it could do was call and text. And that was it. Some of them couldn't even text. Some of them was just calling. Um, one year, my mom hyped up a square device you play games on. Thought it was a Game Boy. <laughs> Prank calling before caller ID. Caller ID was amazing when it came out, but is it just me or does caller ID not seem to work anymore? Every time someone calls, it, it never says what the place is. It always says unknown. I don't think I've ever gotten a call in the past couple of years where it actually says who's calling me anymore. I feel like caller ID doesn't work anymore. Everyone like goes spans past it. Yes, Stardew Valley tomorrow. We'll be playing Stardew Valley 1.6 tomorrow as soon as it launches. Oh, I'm playing the shop game. I got distracted by 90s nostalgia. Oops. Oops. You know how we know I'm getting old because I'm starting to do that thing where I'm like, Back in my day, we didn't have cell phones. We just had to talk to each other at the com at the table. Back in my day, our little Game Boys didn't have colored screens. They were just black and white, and we liked it. We didn't have none of them fancy internets. We just had to connect to each other with link cables if we wanted to play multiplayer in on our Game Boy. Uh, ham and cheese. Okay. Mm Back in my day, you beat a game by playing it. You didn't look up a guide. You just had to play it and figure it out on your own. Now, that's true. I remember I had to, like, there were no guides outside of, like, magazines and stuff. My parents weren't going to buy me one of those magazines. <laughs> the game's on my own. I guess that's why that since I grew up in that time period, I like figuring the games out by playing them. I don't like looking up guides for them. You know, at first, you know, sometimes I look up a guide, but most of the time I like to figure games out just by playing it without any knowledge and just figuring it out. But apparently that's not like how a lot of people play games anymore. They like to look up a guide and know everything about it before they even boot it up for the first time. It's very different how people play games now. I guess because I just grew up in the 90s and that's just how I learned to play games. Was that you just pick it up and start playing and then you figure things out. And sometimes you could ask your friends who had the game too. See what they how they got past something, you know. Very different times nowadays. Oh, I'm not saying that people are wrong if they play a game different than what I do. I just say they play it differently. Because for me, video games are a personal thing. You have fun wherever you have fun. As long as you're not hurting other people while you're playing, do whatever you want. You want to cheat in a game? Cheat. Who cares? Games aren't supposed to be serious. Just have fun. If you want to give yourself a bunch of money in The Sims by typing Rosebud, do it. I don't care. It doesn't affect me at all. Just have fun. All right, let's go ahead and stock our shelves again. Sorry, I went on my little rant. <laughs> All right, let's put the toilet paper up here. I mean, look, to be fair, games have gone. This game alone is a thousand times more complex than most of the games that I played as a kid on Nintendo. This has a lot more complexity in it than a lot of the older games I played. A lot of the older games were just simply moving from left to right and then trying not to get hit by things. Or sometimes you would could jump on them or attack them, but mostly you just try not to get hit by things. Things are things are so different from now. Okay, we're still going down the just okay, one more nostalgia thing. Okay. Do you remember when fast food used to be cheap as hell? 
and it was pretty good tasting. It was cheap, and it was pretty good. Like, you know, it wasn't as good as restaurant stuff, but it was pretty good, and it was cheap. It was like a dollar. You could go to McDonald's with two bucks or three bucks and get, like, a full meal, and it was pretty good. Nowadays, <laughs> not so much. Fast food prices have gone up a lot. My fat belly remembers. It's <laughs> a way to put it. Can another person download this game to play? Yeah, it's it's on uh, Steam. It's not on console. So if you have a console, unfortunately, you won't be able to play it. But if you have a PC, um, you download it on through a program called Steam. And it's about 13 U.S. dollars. Yeah, I remember when soft tacos were 79 cents at Taco Bell. <laughs> you could just load up on them. You go there with like five dollars and just have a feast. It was great. Oh my god! I have been sent a. Oh, I don't know what that is. Uh, that creature. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. If you guys have any questions, Jay, feel free to ask them. Answer anything I can. So remember when I used to watch TV programs when it was on, and you missed it, you missed it. That's true. Okay, sorry. One more nostalgia. I'm sorry. Do you remember when you had to watch TV? Um, and if you, like, you had to watch what was on TV. You didn't get to choose what was on TV. It was like what was on, what was what was on. And if you missed it, you missed it. You have to wait for a rerun if you missed the show. Sometimes there was a rerun. Sometimes there wasn't. You'd have to, like, miss the whole episode and wait until there, it goes on syndication sometimes. See it again. Thank you for the perfume, Ivan. And the rose. Yeah, like printed tape TV guides and stuff. Okay, we got our ham and cheese. Get that all stocked over here. I oh my oh yeah, you remind me of fighting with your siblings over the TV because you only had one TV. Trying to stay up late to watch Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yep. Uh, Adult Swim is great. Is the game uh, $14? Because I got two days there for, for $4. Uh, this game is... It should be for $13 US on um, Steam. I'm not sure what other co country currencies are. Or if you buy it not on Steam. If you get like a Steam code through not Steam. But it's uh, $13 you buy it directly through Steam. I know there's like third party sites now and stuff. This stream has come part of your morning routine. Well, thank you for watching. Appreciate that. All right, let's go ahead and put this over here. Uh, we got some butter. You've got mail. Okay, we got some crab legs. Okay, get those stocked. And let's go ahead and open up the store for the day. I think we've got enough products for now. You got it for $4. Oh, if you're in a different country, uh, it might be cheaper. Sometimes games are cheaper in other countries. If you convert to a U.S. currency. Because they do have regional pricing on Steam. How's Tifa? Let's find out. Tifa, do you want a treat? You want a snack? Tifa? Do you want a treat? Tifa! Tifa, do you want a snack? Either A, she's sound asleep, or B, she's downstairs and outside on the sun porch and can't hear me. One or the other. If she doesn't come for treats, she's probably downstairs and asleep, so she can't hear me right now. <laughs> Cause she doesn't she doesn't pass on treats if so she 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 wants all the treats. <laughs> Yeah, she must have a must be in a deep sleep. If a cat passes on treats, they must be passed out. Super passed out. Wish I was taking a nap on a sun porch. Same. Sounds like a lovely way to spend an afternoon. Right now is like the perfect time of weather where it's just like 
it's just warm enough during the day, but not too warm. And it's not, it's cool at night, but not too cool. It's like a good medium. It's almost always perfect. Sometimes you need a light jacket, sometimes you don't. My lane's open if everyone wants to check out their groceries. Uh, sorry, ma'am. I got this game yesterday I'm obsessed with. Nice Virgo Queen. I hope you're loving it. It's just like a really fun game to play. And just waste many, many hours of gameplay time. Yeah, I named her Tifa after the character in Final Fantasy. But she likes to punch. If you like, but if you go like this to her, she likes to get up and like punch you. <laughs> Do you play Coral Island? No, I haven't played that one yet. How high or low your prices? I always do twenty five percent, uh, twenty five cents above the market price. Uh, if an item's real cheap, like a dollar or two dollars, I usually do it a little bit lower, less than that. But always above, never below. Everything seems to sell pretty well. I'm yeah, Stardew Valley. We're gonna play that tomorrow, and I'm hoping that we get to see. Um, I hope that we get to uh, what you call it. We get to um, get the full update notes today, so I can go through them and pour over them. Any good horror games coming out? You know of? Uh, yeah, there's a free one um, that just came out. Let me see if it's in my library. Um, I don't see it. But there, there, there is one that's free that just came out. It's about um, cute animals that go to like a Animal Crossing style animals that go to like Silent Hill. It's supposed to be creepy in about half hour long, but it's short. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna use the brand new farm with the bluegrass and stuff. Because I do love raising animals in my uh, my place. Moonpie, thank you for that follow on TikTok. Alone in the Dark, yep. Alone in the Dark is going to be great as well. Hopefully. Liz, thank you for that. Um, thank Oh, thank you for uh, resubbing with your gift sub from Davidkin. Yeah, it's like a mix of Animal Crossing and Silent Hill. I can't think of the exact name of it, but it's free to play and it's on Steam. It's supposed to be really good. Only the Dark is coming out uh, soon as well. It's going to be a paid game. Oh, 40. I'm doing good, Liz. Hope you're doing good, too. All right, let's see. And $59. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we played a lot of Last Epoch when it came out. It, I got to the end game and stuff. Fortunately, I got really sick and I wasn't able to stream for a few days. I played that while I was offline, coughing and sneezing. Yeah, I'll be. Uh, the new farm is supposed to be uh, focused around uh, what you call it, farm animals. So I'm gonna play that one. Hopefully, we get some farmland too. I hope it's not too limited, but I'm hoping it will be fine. I try to restock anything that's like almost empty, but otherwise. If we still have some, I don't worry too much about restocking. I always wait till the end of the day, too, to restock. Not usually in the middle of the day. Focus on uh, ringing people out. Hello there. $75. Thank you, sir. That will be sixty-seven fifty on your card. You have a fantastic day now. I saw the new farm with the, co with the coop and chickens. Yes. That sounds amazing. I am looking forward to that. If you're uh, watching on TikTok, if you wouldn't mind uh, double tapping on the screen if you're having a good time. That likes the stream, and TikTok loves when people interact like that. Also, if you haven't followed yet, you wouldn't mind giving us a follow. I stream every day around 10 a.m. Eastern. A little late today, but usually 10 a.m. Eastern every day on all three platforms. If you have a good time, don't forget to follow. Thank you, guys. I'll, yeah, I'll turn the lights on. I forgot. Uh, I don't know. They, he's patched the lights a few times to try to make them better, but 
When the lights come on, the frame rate goes down in this game. I don't know why. Oh, thank you for the roses, Bridget. Appreciate that. And Kevin, thank you for that follow on TikTok. Appreciate that. Us 90 Babies have the best cartoons ever. Yes. I love the cartoons on in the 90s. They were great. They're actually re-releasing um, X-Men. They're continuing the X-Men cartoon on, I think, Disney. Soon, which should be interesting. See how that goes. Herbs out, I think, for that follow. We are low on pasta. Elbow pasta, we're almost out. There's a little bit of uh, that. Um, green uh, toilet paper as well. Let's see. Pasta. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a little bit of everything, just to, like, even that out. Hello, madam. Thank you. That will be $30. So you get $3.10 back. Great day. Have you played Farming Simulator? No, I haven't. Is it good? What's your most sold food? Depends on the day. They, like, randomly will buy one thing and then randomly switch to another. It's hard to tell what they'll buy the, that day. They buy a little bit of everything. Sometimes they'll, like, never buy a product. Like, this bread's been in stock forever. They just buy it so slowly, but... They buy chicken and toilet paper like crazy. I don't know. Seems very random as to what they decide to buy each day. Who knows? All right, that'll be 75 cents. You have a great day, sir. All right, sir. Uh, that will be $50. $6 for your change. You have a great day. Do you get to the product where you have to put one product on a whole shelf? Uh, if you can, it's great because you have to restock it less. But with the restockers, um, restocking isn't as much of an issue anymore. So I find like either one half of a shelf or one quarter of a shelf like this to be plenty. It keeps it in stock and then they can restock it for you without too much issue. Farming Simulator is really fun. Well, thank you for the recommendation. I'll check it out. Fastest way to level up. Uh, just have the store open constantly because the only way to get XP is to get through those days and grind customers. Right now, I'm st I've am been at 50, high 40s and 50, low 50 for forever. <laughs> it feels like I'm just like, uh, it takes so long to get through these days sometimes. I want to. Get, I need to get to 56, and I feel like it is taking so long to grind those levels out. <laughs> but I'm still having fun. But it it does. There are spots in this game where you definitely feel the sluggishness of how fast it is to level up, and you, you know. But it a uh, good rule of thumb is to always have. Make sure you're never out of anything because you lose money, it lose experience if you don't have. A product so make sure that and also make sure that um, all your products prices are updated as well as you lose points if people are finding something to be too expensive I know those are tedious but it's a uh, very important it's pretty grindy yeah it's not it's not too bad I've, I've played worse grind games but this is uh, it's not too bad hanging in there uh, and Bill doesn't help. Look how fast Bill's scanning everything. All right, let's see. Next day, you hired a restocker, and they just stand up front and don't do anything. Like this. Uh, what this means is that there's nothing for them to restock, or the shelves aren't empty enough for them to start restocking them. So... A shelf has to be about 25% empty for them to try to restock it. So they will eventually do it. So either they don't have enough product or the shelf isn't empty enough. Like, see this? There's some missing, but it's not 25% empty yet, so they won't try to restock it. Or there's no, not enough candy in the back. All right. So, like, also, sometimes their AI gets bugged. So just... Exit the game and reopen it, and then that should fix them. 
sometimes the, sometimes the AI of the of the workers or the guests get stuck and you have to like restart. So if you ever have that issue, just try restarting the game and that should fix it for you. Yeah, their AI just gets like gets caught or stuck, you know. Let me register on the uh, on the other side because I'm too lazy to walk and turn the lights off. <laughs> Yeah, I, my register is like right next to the switch, but I, I get that. All right, time. Get your notebooks out. Time for us to figure out what we need for the day. Rosetta, Ro uh, Rosie T, thank you for the gummy bear. Thank you very much. That's so nice of you. All right. Um, right. Let's see. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm here all week, folks. <laughs> all right, uh, we got kegs. Give you some six pack of beer. Uh, a little butter. Six pack of beer, butter. Butter. Joke was clawful. Oh God. <laughs> Getting worse. All right, let's look at our stuff that we're just out of, out of. So, elbow pasta. We are completely out of. We just ordered it. Never mind. Toilet paper. Green toilet paper. Okay, perfect. Welcome to Dan's Groceries. Yes, the best groceries in the world for the highest prices. Eventually, they're going to add the like a janitorial position, so we can finally do that, the classic thing you think of when you think of grocery stores. Clean up on aisle five. Clean up on aisle five. The minute I can do that, I know that the game will be much closer to complete. When I have aisle numbers, and then I can order someone to go clean up a mess in the aisle. Oh, chicken. Thank you for the reminder, Matt. Appreciate that. All right, uh, put that there. Toilets? Oh, no. Yeah, public toilets with cleaning of the toilets is probably going to be a thing at some point. How do you price your items? I always do 25 uh, cents um, above the price. Seems to be a good number. Everyone's got like, a little bit different strategy, so feel free to play around with it and find what works for you. If you like Bum Simulator, you may also like Farmer's Life. Wait, what? You're telling me that a game called Farmer's Life is similar to Bum Simulator? Okay, I have got to see this. Let me Google this game real fast. Farmer's Life. Farmer's Life. Video game. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my, this looks like a funny game. I've never heard of this one. It re Yeah, it looks like Bum Simulator. <gasps> Thank you for the suggestion. I will keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good strategy. Rounding the nearest 25 cent. It makes change so much easier when everything is... 20.25, 20. 50, 75, or even dollars. It's always great. It's more sandboxy than Bum Simulator. Okay. Sounds good. I'll definitely give that a look. Sounds fun. Might play that until they launch the update for Stardew tomorrow. That we go from one farming game to the other. Bum Simulator was amazing. It was super fun. Super funny, and the gameplay was actually quite good in it. It was a nice shock. All right, let's go put that there. Uh, a little butter over here. I decided to restock based on what my back stock. Thoughts? That works. Um, if you have a very organized back room, you can tell what you're out of that way. I don't have any rhyme or reason or organization in my back room. 
so it won't work for me but if you like if you start organizing your back room in a way so that you can like see what you're out of at a glance that would probably be really convenient so kudos to you if you can figure out how to do that that we just look at the back shelf and be like okay we don't have anything in the back stock for this or that then you don't have to worry about what's on the shelf you just have to worry about what's in the back I wish they could wear name tags. True, I do wish we could get name tags on our employees and costumes or outfits. But I think they first need to make sure that there's more than one model for the cashier. <laughs> it's the same guy in both spots. You need to make it so that you can like get different people with different skills and stuff. Okay, we're out of pink drink. Let's order some pink drink. Some orange drink. And some diet drink. Soda. So pink, orange, and then diet. And probably a little bit of green. Order all that. Let's get these on the shelves too. Boop. And there. Perfect. Put that there. Some pink drink. Perfect. Paul, but there must be orange juice in that bottle. And put the diet over here. All right, more diet. And some soda. Beautiful. Chaz, thank you for that resub on Pundit Monday that says, I would totally shop for groceries at your store. Well, thank you. Thank you for shopping at Dan's Groceries. And it is Pundit Monday, so here's your pun. I love candy canes when they're in mint condition. <laughs> My sister bet me $100 that I couldn't build a working car out of spaghetti. You should have seen her face as I drove pasta. Pasta. Drove pasta. Oh, chicken. You're right. I need chicken. Always out of chicken. One, two. I'm going to buy all the chicken. Just get all of it. Never have to worry about chicken again. Well, for at least a couple minutes. Love in the supermarket simulator streams. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching. We will be switching games tomorrow, though, because uh, Stardew Valley is coming out. And I want to play the new Stardew Valley update. Should be really good. Uh, the last update of Stardew Valley was amazing. So I can't wait to see what this new one does. Now I'm going to have a chicken farm. Oh. And more chicken. Yeah, 1.6. Uh, hopefully we get the full patch notes today. Because I'm curious as to all the changes. So I can plan... What I'm going to do in it and stuff. All right. Throw this over there. Perfect. Update for consoles. Usually about two weeks later. Usually. I don't know if he said if they're going to simultaneously launch tomorrow. The update. It could. But it might take two weeks after um, PC launch. We'll see though. I'm not sure when. Hello, madam. Uh, $19. You have a great day. Uh, Concerned Ape is still working on Haunted Chocolatier, but he worked on an update to Stardew Valley to give to refresh his creative juices for the new game. Because he, as he was making Haunted Chocolatier, he probably came up with a cool new way to do stuff. And was like, hmm, can I put some of this into Stardew Valley as an update? Give myself something to work on. I'll get my brain off of... Um, that game for a little while. Do fine. How do you unlock the door to the storage room? You have to upgrade your storage to level three, and then eventually it'll open, it'll open for you. It just has to physically reach the door with upgrades. The way he has it done in the game is very strange, and it doesn't like make a lot of sense. But that's why it's not open. Tifa! 
You want a snack, Tifa? Do you want a snack? Tifa? Do you want a snack? She's either dead or asleep. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully she's just sleeping. Because <laughs> if she doesn't come for snacks, that means she must not be able to hear me. Because when snacks come out, she's usually like... <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, 25, 10. My wife told me to stop playing Wonderwall and repeat. I said, maybe. <laughs> Do covers do anything if they have to wait a long time? No. They never leave or get mad. So, feel free to take your time. There's no shoplifters yet because the store weighs too much. No, there's no... Th the thief update will come later. It's not in the game yet. Just feel free to take your time with them. Alright, uh... I do hope they fix this to where the customers will spread out a little more. Because currently they like to wait in long lines instead of coming over to where the line... Three bottles of vodka! And you're dressed to go out for the night. Damn, you're getting the party started, ma'am. She's hosting a party tonight. She's gonna get wasted. <laughs> I know, she's having a hell of a party today. That's gonna be great. She could be a bartender, that's true. Remember at the cafe we used to I used to work at, they would go to like a local store to get milk if they ran out of the milk they were supplied with originally. Alright, uh thirty seven. 20. Thank you. A space and Sophie link for those follows on TikTok. Appreciate that. Boxes are everywhere. Are they? Oh, you must have been meant earlier. Yeah. The boxes seem to fall out of the sky like magic. I don't know how they get here, but they do. Ooh, my God, chat. We have over $20,000 in game. That is some good money. We're making good money. I know. It's like airplane delivery or something or Amazon Instant, Amazon Teleport. All that money is going to go away, though, when we finally get to level 56 that can buy more stuff. You know, it's going to take a long, long time for me to be able to... Uh, reach the level to buy that license so I think I'm gonna buy the upgrade mm, it's so expensive the next expansion sixteen thousand uh, dollars I don't know is it worth it chat do you think so oh chat let's do a quick vibe check on a scale of one to five one being a bad day, five being a great day, three is an average day. What is your day right now? One to five. Is it a good day? Is it a bad day? How are we feeling? What are we, how are we feeling today? Okay, seen a lot of fours, a lot of twos. It is a Monday. Yeah. I get the, I get the twos. Mondays are usually a two day because you got to go back to work. Sometimes a three if it's an okay day and your boss leaves you alone. A three, a three, some twos. I get the two. Yeah, it is a Monday. It's even some fours, though. Top it over from Twitch. Give a follow. Great content. Give it a 4.5. Well, thank you, Jamitsi. Glad you're having a good day. Yeah, thank you. If you guys follow me on multiple platforms, that's so nice of you. Thank you very much. We're going to find this game on Steam. It's a program where you download computer games. Um, and it's only on Steam, and it's... Um, not on console, so you have to play it on a computer if you can find one. Restocker is not restocking. I hired Boo the game. It's so frustrating. He's not restocking. Um, and just to make sure that you have the shelf marked. Well, okay. Uh, I would try this if they're just not restocking. I would let the product sell out completely. And then what I would do is remove the tag by clicking on it and then replace the product both in the back room and on the shelf. 
Like do a full reset of the products that aren't getting restocked. And then hopefully that fixes it for you. Because sometimes it seems like some people's games, the restockers are getting stuck on stuff. Yeah, try just resetting both the back stock and the main stock by removing everything off the shelf. And then seeing if that fixes it. It is frustrating when games break and don't work like that. I hope they get that fixed. Hope it works out for you, Mom L. $27. Boy, there, man, Fenris, thank you for those subs on the Twitches. Appreciate that. Me too, Don. I'm hooked on this game. I'm, I've am i been playing way too long. I'm starting to ring up groceries in my dreams now at night time. 194, 95. Thank you. I'm starting to like... Paper, paper plastic, cash or credit. <laughs> Just putting things... I think I had a nightmare the other night where I... I forgot to close the store and it just kept running in the background and all the shelves were empty and I forgot to restock and I kept losing experience. Uh, the nightmare. <laughs> Keep hearing the beeping. I know. How do you lock the door? Uh, expand your storage room until it re until level three and then and this door will open. Uh, they don't explain that in game, but yeah. How much for your save game file? <laughs> Is there a market for that? <laughs> uh, three storage upgrade is door open. Yes. Uh, yeah, um, they won't pick up stuff off the street. You have to put it in the back room for them to restock it. But it's not like they're just getting stuck, which happens. I'm also in so in debt my store is going to go under all... Oh. Yeah, it is easy in this game to accidentally expand too quickly, where you take out all the loans, you buy up a bunch of space, and then you don't have enough money to fully restock your shelves, so you're not making enough money to make your loan payments each day. You start like you start clawing in the debt, and it gets really bad. I had that for like a few days where I was not making any money. I was just barely making my loan payments, and it was a struggle. It was a struggle because I expanded too fast. So my biggest tip is don't expand too fast. Make sure your shelves are full of product before you ever buy an expansion upgrade. So make sure that you can uh, that you have full stock of everything. <laughs> Otherwise, you're getting a massive debt and your profits will be really low for a while. Always set um, your prices a little bit above market price, never below. There's no reason to ever put things on discount in this game. They will always buy them. Uh, hummus and tuna. Hummus. Tuna. Remember, you can tuna piano, but you can't tuna fish. Steak and beef. Steak and beef. I'm sorry. <laughs> Steak uh, increased in price to fifteen seventy five. We'll put that there. Yeah, the beginning of the game is pretty rough. You'll get, you'll get. There's some growing pains in certain level points, but eventually, it gets to the point where you're making so much money every day that you can take out all the loans and it won't matter anymore. Like right now, I'm making good money every day. Pretty good money. All right, sushi and then chips and potatoes. Let's do chips. One, two, one, two, and then potatoes. Get all those ordered. And then tea. Actually, tea's fine. Coffee's getting a little bare over there. Order the brown coffee. One red, two red, three blues. Oh, two blues is fine. Okay, uh, both rice. Probably about three boxes each. Three rices. Um, what's the best price uh, to set things at? I always do a quarter above market price. Um, unless it's a very cheap and I do a little bit less. About one quarter, like, 
like one U.S. quarter, twenty-five cents above uh, market price. Usually, what I do. I see some people put everything a dollar above, and that things seem to sell. But so uh, they must get a lot of expensive things. I don't know. Yeah, don't go higher than a dollar. So blue cleaner, probably three bottles of that. Okay, some dishwashing tablets. Um, we need peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yeah, they have the, the game currently doesn't have any reason to ever list something below market price. Because there's no competition, there's no like the customers will pay pay for just about anything really. They don't really ever, ever say no. Sandwich bread. Occasionally they'll think say something's too expensive, but then some another person will come up and just buy it anyways. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. I feel like the game needs a lot of balancing things in the game because not everything does not everything makes sense in the game yet do you know what i mean where like someone's like this is too expensive but then someone else walks up and then they, they buy it anyways and it's like well apparently it wasn't too expensive for that person yeah i ordered a metric ton of potatoes we got all that ordered uh looks like sugar brown sugar and then salt Brown sugar and salt. Brown sugar. And then uh, we need orange flour. One, two, three, four. I, since I sell a lots of different kinds of flowers, am I a flower shop? Hmm. I wonder if I can pass myself off as a flower shop. Okay, let's see. Mm, peanut butter, coffee, got that ordered. Um, shampoo? Wait a minute. That's not hand soap. That's... That's potatoes. <laughs> Man, the, this isn't really cleaning very well. <laughs> hmm. It's very potato-y. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. Washing my hands with some mashed potatoes. <laughs> Only in America. Okay, we'll restart the game and then I'll fix that bug. <laughs> oh, it's hand soap again. Yay. That was funny. Sometimes they put the most random <laughs> items on the shelves. Where can I buy this game? On Steam. Uh, which is a program you download games on um, your PC. <laughs> potatoes. Can we see the boxes stacked outside? I know. I've ordered so many things. It's going to be massive. Okay. Cleaning. We need shampoo. Probably a little bleach. A little bit of that. Uh, a couple of that. A couple of that. A couple of that. Uh, one. Uh, one or two of those. A couple of that. A couple of that. All right, we got ordered a lot of stuff. <laughs> when will you win with this game? There's no winning in this game. It's just about playing until you get bored. And for someone, some people, that'll be very quickly. Some people, they can play it for weeks on end. That's how most sandboxes are. You play until you're bored of it. Because there's no real end to it. Hmm. Okay. Got that ordered. Uh, I guess some more tea. We'll order some black tea. Not cleaning tea. Black tea. And I think that is everything that we're out of. Yeah, looks like it. So I warn you, chat, we're going to have one or two boxes outside to put away. It's going to take a couple of seconds. Okay, um, it's going to take a while to put all of these boxes on the shelf. <sighs> <Okay>. <laughs> what level me? I am uh, level 52. If you're watching on TikTok and you're vertical, you can hit the little square to like go horizontal. And you can see the UI there if you want to see my money and levels in real time and stuff. But I'm currently level uh, 52, trying to get level 56. 
Yeah, they may increase this, the price of the game later on. Uh, it's currently $13 in early access, but you know maybe later they increase the price if it gets too big. With how much time I put in this game, I would I wouldn't even mind spending twenty dollars on this game. Thirteen feels like a really good cheap price for the game. All right, let's see. Boop. Yeah, the level is a little low. The level is kind of really small print up there. So remember when the Vampire Survivors was three dollars? Is it still three dollars? Because that game is like crazy value for three dollars. All right, steak, shampoo. I got three dollars in this game and feel ashamed. I have more hours in this game than I've put into the last two games that I paid seventy dollars for combined. So, yeah, how much? I, how long I played? Skull and Bones and Suicide Squad and that combination is less than how much I played this one at $13. It's just, yep. <laughs> August 22nd, 2024, this game's coming to Apple Store, is it? Did they announce that? That's quite a ways away. Hello, Yavi. Or Javi. Javi. Hello, Catherine. All right, Turkey. Not, sorry, Tuda, not Turkey. Boop. Please ask your workers to recycle the cardboard. They would if they could, but we need to ask the developer to add a recycling can. But currently all we have is a trash can, so their only option is to throw stuff away. Indie games are doing really well this year. From Enshrouded to Power World. Like, indie devs are... They are on fire this year. P pumping out some really good games. I've been very impressed with how awesome the games have been from indie devs. Even last year, like, they had some really good ones. Alright, so let's put this here. Uh, cl cleaner. Some that. Hummus. Okay, rice. I warned you it was going to take a minute to put all this stuff away. Oh. Let's see. Throw this over here. Uh, potatoes. Pew. All right, and some bleach. Do your stalkers ever get stuck? Uh, for me, no, but I've, a lot of people in chat have been saying that they've been getting their stalkers stuck. So hopefully they find a way to get the stalkers unstuck because getting a stalker stuck really stinks. And when they st stalker gets stuck, then you can't get progress. You feel stuck. Like, you want to make the stalker go get fired. So hopefully they fi they patch the stalkers to get them to stop getting stuck. It's stupid when they get stuck. Ground beef. And it's so many tongue twister. I love Power World. Yeah, Power World exploded in popularity. No one expected Power World to sell as crazy as it did. That was just like a whoa level of sales going on there. Yep, um, a lot of the games that are really good this year are also unfinished games. They are games that will not be done for a couple of years. Like Power World and Shrouded. Uh, this game are all going to take at least a year or um, two years. Maybe even three for a couple of them to be finished and we're already putting in many hours in them already uh windex over here uh more sandwich Boop. 
Dan, how many games do you think you've played since starting Twitch? Okay. Let's say, on average, I've played three different games a week. We'll just say three on a week. Maybe average of three, okay? So I've been streaming for 15 years times 365 times three. So we'll say on average about 16,000 games over the course of 15 years. Probably. You know, probably more or less because, you know, some games I play a lot longer than others. Some play games I played for like a day or a few hours or maybe like once for like 20 minutes a lot of horror games are like two 10 minutes long it's it's like ah oh weeks oh you're oops sorry sorry hold up yep sorry i did i did i did math wrong 15 times 52 times three so about 2300 games maybe a little bit a little bit less <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot my math, okay? I didn't carry the one. Yeah, it's about 2,300 games on average, I would say. Could be more, could be less. Just like, roughly how many games. Why couldn't the Frankenstein monster have children? Because his nuts were in his neck. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Technically, those are bolts, okay? Not, okay, but, you know. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to have a stern talk in the chat after this. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I started streaming in 2009 on Justin TV, which was the, what, Twitch, what became, turned into Twitch in 2011. Soccer got stuck on the shelf, fired him, a rain ran the store, then hired him, and he was stuck, still stuck. That's weird. I don't know why that keeps happening to some people. Hopefully, they get that fixed. Yeah, some people, get, their stalkers are, keep getting stuck. I don't know why. I haven't had them get stuck once yet, but some people have been, feel like they get, they're getting stuck, like, all the time. All right, throw that there. It's just stalker number three. The others are still good. Huh. Wonder if we're like the specific stalker is like broken, but the others are fine. I don't know. Who knows what's going on? Hopefully I'm sure he's getting all these bug reports. So if you can make a bug report in the forums for him, um, he has a bug report form on his Steam. It can help him like find these bugs and fix them. It's probably just some I don't know, maybe some random thing that's causing it too. Do you get an upgrade where you can buy more than 10 things at once? No. Unfortunately, no. There is a mod, though. If you don't, if you want to use mods, that will remove the 10-item ordering cap. Because right now, ordering 10 items at once can be annoying. When you want to order a lot more. But there is a mod to remove the cap if you really want it. Throw that there. All right. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's the best part about early access games, though, is that like you get to play these games way before they're done. But you will eventually run out of content. That's a double-edged sword. It is early access games let you uh, fund the devs so you can finish the game, but you have to wait for the game to be done, which sometimes can take a very long time. Like I remember, um, Subnautica took forever. But when it was finally done, it was worth it. It was like, ah, oh, it's finally done. And when I played Subnautica, it was an amazing game. And that game went through so many changes over the course of development. Raft was really good, too. That one took a while for the finish. And it was really good when they finally finished it. All right, like, several more boxes. Subnautica, yeah, it was really good. 
Was Stardew Valley in early access? I don't think it was. Was it? I don't think so. I can't remember. There's been so many. I don't think it was. Maybe it was. I can't remember. Is there any organization you're putting where you're putting these boxes? No. I don't have to know where they are. The computer does. So I just throw it on the shelf, and then they will find where it goes automatically for me. If I had to find stuff manually, I would be organizing it everywhere. But I don't have to interact with it. They do. So I'll let them figure it out. I'm just throwing them on the shelf. Four more boxes, and then it's fully stocked. What do you run stuff you don't realize you, because you can't find them? I don't have to find them ever. The restockers do. So what? that's what's great about the restockers is they know where everything is. And they will go and find something and put it on the shelf for me. I'll know that I'm out of something because they'll stop stocking it. And then I know to reorder it. Ah, the shelves are so much more full now. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? How was it without restockers? Oh. I remember a dark time when there wasn't restockers in this game. And I had to bring every box to the shelf, restock everything, throw every box away myself. It was a dark and cold and lonely time. Oh. We don't try. We don't talk about the before times too much, because it's depressing. <laughs> but we had when before restockers, you had to restock everything yourself. Every last item you had to manually take to the shelf yourself. Uh, they will pick up items off the street um, in the future update, but not yet. In the future update, they will be adding the ability for them to pick boxes up off the street and then put them in the back stock room. <laughs> Fix the gap. I don't like it. Gap? What gap? Which one? There's a lot of gaps. we we'll level to get restockers. Uh, let me see. On the computer, I think. Let's see. Management, hiring. Um, to get rest uh, restockers, you have to have the first le level of storage upgrade. You have to have at least one rack, and you have to have store level 15. The gap below my web stream. Oh, is there a gap? Oh, I didn't even see the gap. There, it's been degapped. <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> You're welcome. <whistles> boom, boom, boom. 13.75. There's still a gap? No! Okay, is it is it gone? Is it gone now? Gap on the right side. No! Stop looking at it! Don't look at my gap. It makes me self-conscious. Thank you. The gap's... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oops. There we go. We were fine. <laughs> Stop looking at my gap chat, okay? Oh, customers waiting for me. Lovely. Best shop I've seen so far. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. One thing of sugar? That's it. Fourteen seventy-five. Oh, she's buying the good stuff. Okay. Give me all that money, ma'am. One thirty-four seventy. One thing of sushi, three dollars and eighty-five cents. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, two snowmen are standing in a field. One says, now that you mention it, I smell carrots too. Because <laughs> their noses are made out of carrots. Oh my god. Oh, forty-six dollars and seventy-five cents. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hello, madam. Thank you. Five cents. Have a great day. All right, and that'll be sixty seventy-five. You have a wonderful day. Why are so many people playing this game? Uh, third one I've seen in two minutes. Okay, two reasons. One. The game's really fun, and people are having a good time with it. Two, streamers follow trends. If people notice that people are getting a lot of viewers with the game, you'll see everyone playing that game. It's just how it goes. So those are the two reasons you're going to see lots of people playing this game on streams, because it's a trend game, and people are actually really, really liking it, and it's popular. And it's fun. Uh, 74 90 Thank you. But yeah, this game is like 13 bucks. It's on Steam. It's really fun. People have been playing it. People are hooked on it. People like watching people play it while they play it themselves. It's good times. Some people are buying alcohol. I know. They do that. In real life, too. Um, this game is so fun that some people will go to a store, work at a store all day, and then come home and play this game for fun in their off time. That's how fun it is. People that really work at grocery stores will work the re this job all day in real life and then come home and do it on a video game. Oh, thank you, No, for the follow and the likes on TikTok. How many store people do you have? My shel shelves are full. Um, I have two employees. I have uh, two cashiers. Three restockers and then me. The 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 um, bill one and bill two are pretty slow at re ringing people out. But yeah, our stuff is very full. We got a level uh, level fifty two store. Once we get fifty six, we can get more items. Finally. What was that? Did you hear that squeak? What was that squeak sound? Was that squeak? Must have imagined it in my head. <laughs> Sound like a mouse, yeah. I'm like, is there mice in this game? Where is it mice, right? No. Hello, sir. My lane is open if you want to come over here. I'm waiting. Do you guys want to come over here? No? All right. I guess I'll just be alone in my lane while no one comes to me to check out. You de they definitely need to fix the AI, the AI for customers. Is it just me or do you guys see, see it happen in your games too where the, the customers won't go to lines that are empty? They like to fill up one line first and then another and then eventually pour over the third lane if there's no room for them. I feel like uh, that's a bug. Like they should like fill in whatever l line is empty first. So they like to like stay there and never move around. Hopefully they can get it to where like they'll move if a line is full and then another line is empty. They can just walk over there. Soda is too expensive. What? Oh yep, two fifty. Boom. Three dollars. There you go. Three chickens? Oh, yep. Some people buy many of a product. You'll watch. You'll see them buy like twenty bottles of something, like three big bottles of pasta, uh, boxes of pasta. <laughs> ah, can you see? <laughs> how how can you see right now? <laughs> How, 
That box is so big. I don't know how he's seeing where he's going. Maybe that's the neat part. They don't. Echo location. <laughs> I like having the restocker. It, the restocker has drastically improved the gameplay loop. Without the restockers, it was horrifying to have to restock the store every day for so long. But now, because they're restocking throughout the day, you have to restock less each day. So you, it's cuts down a lot of tedious back and forth. This is an addictive game. It is safe space. It is very fun. All right. Thank you. $200 you paid with two 100s. Jeez. Okay. 50, one, 25. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it took like every morning without three stalkers was spent piling massive amounts of stuff on the shelf and then throwing those things away, <laughs> the boxes away. It was really bad. Time to expand? I could expand, but I have nothing to expand into that space because I don't can't get any new products right now. So we're kind of just like waste. We're kind of wasting time until we hit level 56. Once we hit level 56, then we can finally um, buy another upgrade and then put new products in that new space. I eat 80, $85 chains for a soda. Some people like to do that. They like to walk, they'll come in, they'll buy something worth a few dollars, and they'll give you a hundred, and they're like, I would like change. All right, next day. Price found expensive, five. Uh, hand soap, flour, and beef. Hand soap, 250. Flour, eight. Five flour, three fifty, and beef. I think it was ground beef. Yep, let's go. And even ten dollars there. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and save. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the stream here for today. If you guys have been having a good time, don't forget to follow the stream. Um, I'll probably be back on later tonight with some more um, Final Fantasy on our comfy stream. Tomorrow we're going to be playing the Sardew Valley update, so it should be a fun time. Um, I don't know when the, li the update will go live tomorrow, but we'll play it as soon as it's available. Um, we'll play a little Farmer's Life in the morning, too, to, until the time comes out. But thank you for stopping by. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you for... If you like my, st my stuff, um, I'm on all platforms. Click my profile. You can sub my links to go everywhere. Oh my god, Christina, thank you for the rose. I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Um, I'm go ahead, get off here. I'll be back on Dan's Comfy tonight with some Final Fantasy. Um, probably around 6 o'clock or so. Um, so if you're following Dan's Comfy, or my second Twitch channel, it'll be over there. Otherwise, uh, all the videos are on YouTube. If you miss anything, you want to rewatch any of our streams, everything's on our YouTube channel. So follow me everywhere if you want to keep up with all my stuff. You guys have been great, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Have a good night.